Yeah, we'll get it sauced up in here soon enough. Oh, God. But, hey, here we are. Another episode, baby. What's going on with the Burning Tree community? Uh, my name's Killa. To my left, as always, BTC Visuals. Yeah. Uh, joining us today is our guest, Bay Shiro. We also have our fourth, uh, Dylan, Mike's brother, a big part of this company. Yeah. As well. Yeah, he's joining us for this one as well. Um, but shit, how's, how's it going, man? What's doing up? great, man. I appreciate y'all having me. Shout out to Burning Tree Company. You yes, know, sir. Appreciate the hospitality, man. It's a pleasure to be here today. Yeah, hey, oh God, it's a big episode today, man. We're excited to have you here. For so. Yeah, so you came from what? Oakland? Yes, sir. <laughs> so you from out there? Are you from the city? Um, so I was born and raised in Oakland. Well, technically Berkeley. So I grew up. Okay. Like the street I grew up on, it was crazy. It was like a Berkeley address. But the trash cans and the street signs was mm. the city of Oakland. So All right. it's, it's like right on the border, yeah. middle ground. Yeah, 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 you feel me? But um, yep. Shit, just uh, grew up there, and then um, yeah, moved to the city 2018. Started going to school out there. So, oh yeah. Yeah. What school did you go to? I went to SF State. Okay, fire. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell. yeah we didn't we didn't necessarily get that far, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's always dope. Oh, oh yeah. nah. Love hearing it. What did you go yeah. to school for? Uh, film. It was a school of cinema. Oh yeah, so, that's tight. That's tight. Yeah. You stat. feel like you feel like you learned a lot through there. Um. Yeah. I mean, so well, so I actually just graduated. Like I literally just graduated last month. So congratulations. Four and yeah, a half years. Yeah. Um. Man. But um, it was cool. I mean, you know, I would say like they didn't really teach you anything that you can't like learn on YouTube or just like learn through experience. Um. But for me. I have my own reasons for going and whatnot, but, you know, my biggest takeaway was, you know, they teach you the fundamentals, right? And, you know, you're taking, you know, of course, you're taking all these other classes, like science, history, whatever bullshit that you don't, right. you feel me, the same, like, same shit you did in high school. But um, for me, just, like, being around other people, kind of pursuing film, people like, you know, my age and whatnot, that was kind of the biggest thing for me. Right. Um but yeah, I mean it was cool. You know, it took took me long enough, and there's a lot of fucking dedication, a lot of uh, you know long sleepless nights, and the trying to balance, you know, starting a starting a business at the same time. It was it was a you know it was a lot of time and dedication for Hell sure. Yeah, I, I could bet that's a headache for sure. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I definitely commend you for that. The, the question I had about that too, I mean, you kind of answered it already, but we tend to get to this topic if someone was in school or is in school at the time of the interview, whatever, like. Especially for shit, like shit that we do, music production or video production, whatever. Like, it almost it's a weird balance you have to find when you're doing that shit because it's such a creative thing, and it's like I don't know. I feel like it's weird being in school for something that you kind of. I feel like the greatest a lot of the time they figured it out on their own. You feel yeah. me? Like it's almost yeah. like they it, it came to them or whatever. Like they accidentally stumbled upon this hobby and it turned into something for them. Um, but I mean, you kind of already answered it. You learned certain fundamental aspects of it. I'm sure. So I mean that's cool though. Um, let's back up a little bit though. So did you, when did you start shooting videos? So it's a funny story. So I taught myself how to shoot and edit when I was 11, mm. and I I actually I had this YouTube channel and I was doing these um like little technology reviews right. So I seen that. I, you did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You have a few at the at the bottom do, of your yeah. YouTube that have yeah. like a hundred yeah. plus thousand views. I know. Shit. Yeah. So my fault. Okay. <laughs> okay. I know, bro. Yeah. So it was like this is kind of early in the YouTube days, right? So you know, was, I'm sure it was easier to like get in the algorithm or whatever back then. But sure. anyway, so. For whatever reason, bro, the fucking, I think it was, like, the second or third video I ever made went viral. Like, yeah. it had, like, close to 600,000 views. So, basically, like, I bought a fake pair of Beats headphones, not knowing they were fake. You know, I saved some money up, whatever, bought them online from this fucking Chinese website or whatever. Didn't didn't know the difference. <laughs> yeah. So, and then um, I realized they were fake, and I saved up some more money, did chores or whatever, bought the real pair. And then I just made, like, I literally just set up my webcam on my computer and just made a video comparing like the fake pair versus the real pair <laughs> and for whatever reason that shit went viral and you kind of just did it i'm assuming just on some fun shit or not even fun almost like you're kind of pissed that you got yeah. this fake pair it's like <laughs> exactly not like, yeah and also too is just because like I, I i mean i use like i'm on youtube all the time right and even back then it's like i used to watch these like tech reviewers or whatever it's kind of interesting to me at the time but um that's kind of that was like the inspiration behind it but i did it for a couple years and um I still have like five of my videos up on my channel, so you know, yeah, yeah. you found them. But they're all the way at the bottom. <laughs> you found them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, bro, just kept going from there, and uh, yeah, I did that for a couple years and just kind of dropped it. Um, and I, I, I mean, looking back, I wish I would have like kept it going because you know who knows what it would have turned into, right? But 
Um, I mean, I had like companies sending me shit to review, like sending just me products those, to review just from the channel. Oh, like, how old were you? I was eleven, bro. I was, or I was like, <laughs> I would not, I wouldn't so, have any idea what the fuck. Yeah, yeah. Was, boy, it was all this shit. <laughs> no, I was like eleven, twelve, thirteen, like middle school age or whatever. Um, but yeah, and also like I made a couple thousand bucks, so that's why <laughs> off of Google AdSense. So Hell yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fire. Yeah, that's just that's kind of where it all started though. See, Not that shit's crazy too, because it's like you said, <laughs> you kind of touched on it. It's such a it was a different time in YouTube, so you probably made fucking I don't know yeah. how much more you would make yeah. in that situation yeah, compared yeah, to today, yeah, yeah. but. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty dope. Yeah, no, I'll tell us funny. I definitely, I definitely was not getting a uh, monetized. And I definitely wasn't touching, you know, any any hundreds, <laughs> hundreds, of thousands, and stuff like that. Yeah. But I definitely was when I was younger. Probably around like the same. Probably a little bit younger. I was probably like nine or like ten. Yeah. I used to have my dad record me, and I used to do magic tricks. And I used oh, to explain really? magic tricks in front of in front of a camera, and I used to post these on YouTube. <laughs> that's hell of fun. They still there. You can God. find them. Yeah, you, okay. can, you can find them. Somebody still can for find sure. them. Dive sure. deep enough. In the, in the, in, uh, they have to be in the archive you know what I mean the okay. archive section you have sure. some fucking yeah. gems yeah. real quick you have it playing in the background Boy, oh god so. you got them on, on unlisted that's what I'm saying I feel yeah. like that's what it's gotta be yeah you know for sure I mean that's I never really got into like YouTube at a young age but I feel like for any of us if we just like st- stuck to it it probably would have went fucking crazy because just at that time too it was so mm-hmm. new yeah, mm-hmm. I feel like everyone nowadays is doing some kind of content on YouTube. It's everybody like, has their favorite people now. Like back then, though, everybody right. was just kind of watching whatever. You right. would just go on YouTube, you'd click on some. It was the randomly vi- blow it was, up. It was the video for real. Yeah. That would like, it was like, yeah, whether yeah, you're yeah, like yeah, opening yeah. up on YouTube or it's a suggested, it was yeah. actually like the video. You didn't know who the person was yeah. that was posting the video or like it was just yeah. the title, the thumbnail, whatever. The, like that was the real like attraction to it. Yeah. It's hella funny to think about. Fuck yeah. I'm going to click on that. Yeah. Like sure. now, nowadays, we're just subscribed to people. So it just shows up, whatever the fuck yeah. they post. Like everybody knows who they want to watch when they Oh, yeah. yeah, hell yeah, and then the fucked algorithm now too. It's just hell yeah, like, it's crazy. It's so tough, dude. Even with like Instagram and everything, it's like such a because it's become such a, a viable option, like business wise, doing any type of social media shit. It's just it's weird how now that it's so viable, they have to like hell limit everyone's earning potential. You feel me? It's it's crazy. A little uh, a little bit off topic. I, I kind of wanted to to go off of that though. We're talking about YouTube. I noticed that you had a you had a YouTube short. You posted like it was probably a real originally, but I, I I seen it on YouTube like three weeks ago, and it was like it was either I forgot what, how you captured it, but it was like life of a video or oh, like yeah. a, a music video <laughs> director. Yeah, and it was like you see everything. You see a you know luxurious house, and you go to you get the rooftop, you know on top, on top of some like crazy ass parking lot, you know with foreign cars. But my favorite slide that it went to. Cause it cut from all that the crazy shit. Then it went to a big ass weed like a farm. Oh like, yeah, like, inside. That's yeah. the that was the realest shit because like I, like I've been there. I've like I smoke I smoke weed every single day since I was in seventh grade. The only time I've ever been in a place like that was shooting a music video. For sure. And I feel like there are places like th- like times like that you can only get there from being in certain situations like that. For that sure. Was interesting as fuck for sure. Man, I I could go on for days about how many places like just having a camera has gotten me into. <laughs> no, but facts. um. Yeah, that specifically. So I was actually um, I was in LA with my boy, um, and he he owns a cannabis company. It's called uh, Zaba Cannabis Co. Fire. And so he actually Fire. like we uh, I flew out there and we did a video with uh, Fabio Foreign. Oh, so Fire. we did. It was just like a oh. promo video. Um, but yeah, that shit was crazy, bro. I've never seen anything like that. like you know you see it on fucking TV and and YouTube or whatever. But it's like to actually see that many plants just and it was bro. Like, like it literally felt like the shit went on forever. It was it was like a whole indoor grow or whatever. But oh yeah, you walk was, out of there high, like yeah, for sure. just, just like in like, Pineapple Express and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like big ass like weed and whatever yeah. place. The one yeah, experience, bro. the one experience I had shooting one of those, uh, I was shooting inside, and I think that because you know those have like an automatic process. I'm I'm pretty sure this is what it is. It's like an automatic process of how they like water it. Like it's either like through the fucking steam on the top or like little how, irrigation yeah, yeah, system. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and I think when we were there, it was during that process, and they couldn't really like change it's it. Getting rained on. So, bro, when I'm like when I'm in there, it's like steam. You know, what I mean? you can't really like see it. But <laughs> Camera's it's like getting all fucked up. But yeah, it. it's foggy. So like literally every like thirty seconds, I have to go. My little wipes. Oh man. Oh my. I mean, that's tough. I can only imagine. I mean, he's told me stories, too. It's just that camera, it'll take you to some high, low places. Like, no, you yeah, kind of sure. just touched on some fire shit. You, I mean, you've yeah. been to. I'm sure there's some shit situations, too. Like, do you have any off top that maybe oh, yeah. that you've dealt with? Or have you kind of got the lucky hand? You haven't really dealt with any anything too bad yet? No, I, I definitely have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, which one? <laughs> so. Oh, I'm from Oakland, bro. Come on. Man. <laughs> uh, whether it's fucking guns going off in the middle of a shoot or you know the artist getting arrested 
halfway through the video. Um, <laughs> that's rough. I, I, that's tough. <laughs> no, hey, that's tough. Like, how yeah. am I get paid? <laughs> Whole operation. Oh so my god, that's, that's real. Yeah, I feel like I've been through. I mean, thankfully, you know, nothing, no serious situations or whatever. Because, um, but you know, I, I've had my fair share of uh, you know f- of events that have gone on. Um, but yeah, it, I think it really just comes down to like the people you surround yourself with. Because, like at the end of the day, I've always like been a person to be kind of selective with who I work with, mm-hmm. and I feel like that's just kind of worked to my benefit. Just because I'm not out here just like shooting with random people or whatever. It's just I noticed that. Yeah, I, I was going, I was going through videos that you shot, and I was thinking in my head, it's, it's like you seem to real like you know you work with a lot of the same people. Yeah, you, you still work a lot though. You know what I mean? It seems like you've really like gotten down to a a system of like how you work with people and like who you so how how you select the it's like the you know trusted I mean? people yeah, I'm sure exactly. for sure yeah, yeah yeah i mean like at one point um i mean uh i was really only shooting with either if i knew you had worked with you in the past or like if you had a referral from somebody that mm-hmm. i've shot with because bro like how like i've heard so many stories of like videographers getting set up and robbed for the camera equipment and like shit like that it's Some like shady bro, shit bro yeah bro it's like Sometimes it's not even worth it. Like, you find yourself in certain situations. Like, bro, why am I here? Like, what? You know? Right. But, um, yeah, I, th- I think definitely, you know, definitely making sure that um, I'm, you know, staying consistent as far as the people I'm working with. Like, and just building those relationships. You know, you'll, you'll, you'll be surprised how much work can just come off of shooting with one person. Oh, yeah. Huge. Yeah. Huge. yeah. So. We, we had IMEX, uh, IMEX Sebastian in here, oh, yeah. like, whatever, two months ago, maybe a month ago or something. Probably maybe a little, maybe a little, a little longer. longer, like two or three. Yeah, I'm losing track of my, my time now. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, with him, I mean, I noticed he probably had, like, 20-plus videos with DB, uh-huh. right? You have hella videos with, with Blasta, right? For like, sure. Yeah, Blasta, I'm sure he's, like, he, a trusted artist for you. smile, he said, he, that's my boy right he, there. <laughs> he doesn't even realize, but one's playing in the back, like, IMEX is oh, literally yeah, playing yeah. in the back. That's oh, good yeah. timing. <laughs> yeah, for real. But, no, hey, the Blasta, though, I noticed that you guys, you have a... Like, I'm assuming you kind of have a personal relationship with him. Oh yeah, right? that's my boy, bro. Like he, he treats me like family every time I see him, bro. And Fire. It's like, that's more that I can ever ask for. But yeah, bro, me and him have shot, I want to say 20, 25, 30 videos over the last few years. Yeah, How'd so, you guys get connected? So um, basically, um, we met through uh, my boy Kez. You know Kez, right? Young Kez. Oh, yeah, I'm wearing... You know the vibe. <laughs> I'm wearing, I swear to God, I'm wearing you know this hoodie right now. So, I swear to God. Coincidentally. Yeah. That's so funny. Uh, anyway, so, um, yeah, bro, I was... Um, he was really one of the first people that kind of, uh, you know, opened a lot of doors for me as far as, like, getting into music videos. And you Huge know, shout out to Cash for real. So for I, sure, I, I could agree with that. No, nah, that's my boy, bro. Me and him have gotten so much work together, bro, in the last few years. But, um, yeah, bro, actually, so... So I actually met him basically like I was I'd always wanted to get into music videos. Right. But I just didn't know how I was going to do it. So at one point I have like I worked up a portfolio and I just started sending my work out to a bunch of different directors, you know, just big names that you would think of. Right. And this was like I want to say like 20, uh, like beginning of 2019. And the only person I would probably DM like 15 or 20 people. The only person that hit me back was Kez. Mm. And um, we locked in. He he. uh I did an edit for him. I actually edited um, in my mode. If you're familiar with no that way song, by Drew Bees, Hell Drew yeah. Bees <laughs> that's so, <laughs> but that's so funny. Like it's like the same. Like I was like I was doing kind of like similar like editing for him. Like probably like like probably six seven months after that period. Yeah, like it was, it was, that's hella funny for sure. Yeah, no, that's my boy though. I mean, ever since we locked in and um, we kept working, like I would uh, you know just come do some like behind the scenes for him or just help him on set or whatever this and that and. Um, Eventually, like, he moved to L.A., and uh, that's kind of where the connection happened between me and Blasta. Like, Blasta hit him for a video. He was like, hey, uh, I'm in L.A., but just go to Shiro and, you feel Fire. me? Fire. That's how that was. That, and it, yeah, like, like I said, bro, you'll, you'll never Super. know what's on the other side of one opportunity, bro. Because mm-hmm. me and him, like, me and Blasta, bro, you can see our catalogs. Like, literally, like, t- like 25, 30 videos. And we're still shooting to this. Like, we just shot some, like, a couple weeks ago. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. But, um. Uh, yeah, bro, that's that's my dog though. Blast is like, you feel me? Like a real solid dude. Like, one of the most hardworking people I've ever met. You know, like big shout out to Blast for, for sure, sure, for sure. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, just seeing his work ethic, like that shit made me want to go even harder. Like he would be calling me like every, you know, every couple weeks, and we would, you know, finish one video, go knock out the other one. So, yeah, Hell yeah, 
for sure. No, that's dope. I, I was gonna say too, like how you said about the, uh, you know, you never know what's what's on the other side of like a random opportunity. It's like it seems like everyone, not everyone, but a good chunk of the people that we've had in here, be it producers, videographers, whatever, less artists on this topic, but it's always some shit like that. It's always like they didn't even really expect it to turn in, turn into anything, and then it ends up being like one of their main, you know, yeah. points of work, like where they yeah. get the most content out of. So it's not it's, facts. It's cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to get a little more specific. So you had said something about the, uh, you were sending your portfolio out. So at that time you didn't shoot any music videos yet. You did like, kind of like a uh, scenic kind of edits, right? Yeah. So Some shit of that nature. Or right. What? So basically, yeah. What was the prior work? Yeah. So really I didn't get into like shooting videos seriously until, um, my freshman year of college. And, um, this was like, like end of 2018. I was, uh. I got hired at this this marketing company, and um, they had like a weekly podcast. I would go in and shoot video for them, and then just over time, I started working with some of their clients. So like I would do, um, you know, I work with like tattoo artists, clothing companies, cannabis companies, uh, barbers, things like that. Just doing little promo videos sure. and whatnot, and that was like you know my first time, kind of uh, having having a consistent amount of work, right? Because I'm coming from like. You know, my previous experience of doing YouTube, right? Just doing the shit for fun. Yeah. yeah. And, like, you know, I had all this equipment saved up for, like, you know, when I, from back from 2011, and I was just sitting in my closet not doing anything. But like, I, I kind of, ha- you know, I always had that talent kind of in the back of my head. I just never kind of got back into it until then. So, especially I, because, like, I feel like in that situation, it's kind of like when you're doing the work yourself and, like, or not necessarily like when you're doing it yourself, but like, when the content is like your content in specific, yeah. it kind of like I feel like you have to be like the the driving factor to be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna make like a I'm gonna do this or I'm gonna do that versus like when you're like working for like other people, you're doing like the the videos for the barbers and stuff like that. I feel like yeah. when you actually have people hitting you up to do the work, it's a lot easier to like, okay, I'm gonna get in the mode yeah. and I'm gonna really, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And it took me a while even to get to that point. It took me at least a year of just consistent, just you know, grinding and like like. Um, but yeah, so just going back to your question, right? So I, I had built up this portfolio and just started sending my work out. Yeah. And that, like, you know, that's that was the biggest thing for me is just having that hunger and and not knowing like how I was going to get into this certain thing, being music videos mm-hmm. and just kind of making something out of nothing. And um, but that was good for me. Like I wasn't getting paid much at all, you know, looking back. Uh, they you were. Like I, was, I was getting fucked <laughs> over. Like I was yeah. getting fucked over bad. It's a lot of free work and a lot of cheap work for, for the sure. beginnings mm-hmm. of anyone in this shit for real. Like, yeah, for sure. I even still struggle with that shit with beats, with fucking studio time, what what have you. Like it's fucking, it's tough to make money doing creative shit like this. Right? It is. So yeah. like, a lot of people don't like to hear this, but I've definitely done plenty of free work in my life. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, like, sure. not me too, for sure. Oh God. Yeah. And then so um, past that too, so like. As far as the portfolio goes, and you're kind of just building stuff up, were you just hitting up other videographers? Were you hitting up um, like artists too, and kind of being like, I could do music videos too? Like, were you kind of like, or was it just super, like you're kind of just looking up to other videographers and trying to like do stuff with them? Like, what was the, yeah? Because I kind of like to paint a picture for uh-huh. like maybe young videographers watching, like, sure. oh, how, how do I get started? You know what I mean? Whatever. Yeah. So for me, like, just having that connection with Kez was huge mm-hmm. um and you know me and him like i and what he told me like what he always told me bro is like he saw he saw himself in me like when i was first going like getting started and just going at every opportunity possible like you know that's that's if if i so if i had any advice to any any up-and-coming director right bro just fucking go for it like go like go go just fucking do it yeah you know what i'm saying that's like yeah. what do you have to lose like right like i made i made an investment in myself and you know it turned into what it is today it's like you know you'll you, you know you'll never know how far you can get i mean i wouldn't i didn't expect to be where i'm at right now right like you know i'm fucking getting flown out to paris to go shoot a music video, man bro. it's just crazy wild. hell yeah talk like, your shit for sure yeah bro it's, i mean it's you know it's really humbling to just kind of look back sometimes and and like just realize how much i've accomplished and you know um but yeah bro i mean i, I love this shit at the end of the day it's like that's why i got into it because i had a passion for it and 
you know, here we are. I mean, yeah, we, yeah. Can, we can all agree the dream is being able to live off of doing something you love. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? like, that's, that's really don't dope. gotta wake nah, up in the I morning mean, like. Yeah, I, I yeah. always told myself like when I was For a little sure. kid, bro, like if I could get paid to travel, I made it. <laughs> come on, come <laughs> on, come run it up, run it up. Come on, on now, yeah. you hear? Yeah. yeah, that's tight. I mean, what are sure, uh, yeah. my bad? Did you have something you were gonna say? Oh no, 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 you can go. You can okay, go. yeah. So what I was gonna say is that uh, so we kind of touched on a little bit on the good, a little bit on the bad stuff with the shooting, like. So you're saying you're going to Paris. Um, who are you shooting with Like for that? Is it like an artist? Is it like for a business or something? Like yeah, what was that? Yeah, so I actually went out there with uh, with Mr. Fab. Oh, fire. Fire. And, uh, for sure. And, um, yeah. So oh, you already went. I thought you were saying nah, that. Yeah, no, nah, I, I, yeah. So uh, sometime last year. But he flew me out there and got some content. And um, uh, if you're all familiar with Benny the Butcher. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, he was out there. What was like? What was it? What, like, what was the content? Like, what you guys do? So that's was, dope, bro. Like, yeah, nah. <laughs> trying to go to Paris. Oh, I'm trying too, to hear it for sure. Nah, so we did a couple of music videos and then just kind of day in the life vlog type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was a crazy experience, bro. Mr. I mean, Mr. Fab is probably the only person that I've ever worked with. When we shot a video, we were kind of in like a public scenario. It's like a, it's like an event, and when i say we couldn't shoot the fucking video because so many people were coming up to him <laughs> yeah so many like we're literally like, i'm like i had a ronin m at the time like it's you guys not, in oakland or what shooting that i shit? think this was in uh stockton oh, okay. it was at, like okay. a, it was at, like a car like some type of car event you know they had like low riders they had like you know breast spinning in like a rally type of thing that sideshow tone was there hella shit and when, when I was shooting, like like I said, I had a Ronin M. It's very obvious what I'm doing here. It's yeah. very, like, he's, he, he's standing there rapping <laughs> to a camera. You know what I mean? Yeah. And people would literally go, like, right in between us, like, walk right in front of my camera. <laughs> yeah. Fab, I need a pic, bro. Like, well, yeah, that's crazy. Nah, he has somewhat of an icon kind of, like, thing to him, at least in the bed. Hell yeah. For sure. Like, he gets fucking mad. Love. Everybody Shout know, out Mr. Fab. Yeah, too. nah. Everybody I, know. I bring yeah. that up too, cause like like Fab was one of those people. When I mentioned it, like like I have like an older sister, and even my pops. Like I remember my pops one day, he was like, cause my, my pops knows nothing about rap, like at all. Especially like you know, obviously like my pops, <laughs> are, my pops are way older. You feel me? So he be Korean. Yeah, exactly. He has no idea about the shit. But then one day he asked me, he was like, he was like, hey, I, you know, I, I seen a rapper one day, and you know, have you ever, you ever heard of uh, Mr. Fab, something like that? <laughs> I seen him on the news. He was like, I forgot what he did. It was something like that. I think he was like donating to like or maybe like a food drive, something like that, and he was there. And he asked me, he's like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, I shot a video for him, like, literally two weeks ago. He's like, there's no way. I was the only person my dad's probably ever, like, you know, recognized. You know what I mean? It's the only yeah, thing that yeah. he could ever, like, re like, correlate to. I thought that was dope, though. Like, he's a gratifying he, moment. He's an absolute icon. finally recognizes the, one of the people you're shooting for. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. He's an absolute icon. The fact that you shot with him in Paris is fucking sick. Yeah, nah, and he was even, sick. he was getting recognized out there, too, so. That's Damn, crazy. Yeah, pictures, no, that's crazy. Yeah, crazy. M m a lot of people can't say it. Like, a lot of people can't even leave their state. <laughs> And get recognized as a rapper, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's huge. weird too, because like the Bay culture, it's obviously a little bit like. Uh, well, I'm not trying to go a negative route with this. It's it, I'm looking for the right word. It's like super boxed in, obviously, right? Yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. not as like nationally recognized in the states, like in other places. But what I've noticed, like you look at Aiden, for example, he's in Germany. One of our producers in Germany, um, him and like his whole little like music group out there that he works with, his producers and shit. And then we got uh, T. De Renner from the Netherlands, right? And then you say, you say Mr. Fab's getting recognized out in, in France. It's like, yeah. it's kind of cool how, I don't know, there's some type of connection with like. It's not as, it's not as boxed in as we think. Yeah, you know it's what like I mean? cool yeah. and like different to them almost. So it's, that's pretty clean. Oh God. Yeah. Um, my next question was actually going to be, I, I completely fumbled it earlier. I was going to add a cool little transition, but let's just get back to it real quick. <laughs> not to take too big of a step back, but when did this like all kind of, formulate in your mind as like being a potential business like because i know we i started making beats literally because i was bored like i was like this shit's clean like what the fuck i'm trying to trying to try to do that i feel like yeah. i could do that you know what i mean and then you know it, it kind of like just fell into place shit worked i put the work in and then it not that i'm up here yet but you know you see some some success you know what a mean? specific maybe like a gratifying moment you know yeah. or like a makes you realize you could really do this right shit. yeah um uh, that's a good question bro because even, even from the first, like, video you might have done, music video you've done or whatever, that that work is gratifying, but it's also like, okay, like, yeah. how do I keep stacking these yeah. small W's to where now I'm really set in the shit yeah. a little bit, you know what I mean? I feel like the first time I got flown out to go shoot a video, that was kind of the it <laughs> moment. Okay. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, um, for sure. Absolutely. I would say, I, and I'll always remember this, so it was the first, the first trip I really... 
like as far as shooting videos the first trip that i was you know it was all paid for or whatever i, I went to arizona with uh drew b's fire they fucking rented this it's the biggest house i've ever seen in my life <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you, hey look let me ask you did you go during the summer uh Boy, was uh, it 122 hey, was it hot as fuck is what i'm asking it was hot I don't remember, bro. I, I went don't out, remember. I went out to Arizona one time, bro. It was 114 out <laughs> yeah, there. That was the hottest, that's the hottest <laughs> weather I've ever been in my life, yeah, bro. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Yeah, no. I need to go to oh, Asia. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, different. but they, they literally, bro, they rented this fucking huge Airbnb. And it was like, he said, he sent me the link or whatever. Like, before I pulled up, it's like... 2500 a night. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, sweat out. Okay. Oh, y'all got yeah, that? Yeah, cool. Got that? For sure. <laughs> nah, but, um, yeah, bro, that, I mean, that was kind of my, me realizing, like, shit, I'm really, you know, this is going somewhere. Um, Starts but, to set in as being an official fucking thing at that yeah. point. For sure, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah, and, and uh, I was still in school at the time and whatnot and just kind of doing the shit on the side, but, you know, that was kind of when I realized, like, shit, maybe I could really do this and, you know, backtracking a little bit though like when i did in my mode for kez like that video did a million views and i never would have thought like you know it's just a simple it was a point and shoot video it came out cool but um and that was even one of the first music video edits i've ever done and f for me to see that do a million views is like you know like i gotta be doing something right you right, know yeah. Hey, yeah i think that video though especially you know with the edit i think you match the energy though for sure there like when you see that video you definitely get in like i don't know i focus that video for sure in my mode i maybe maybe i feel that way because you know obviously that song's classic you know yeah, still yeah. on repeat to this day yeah people sure. the hell of people fucks with that song yeah, for yeah. Sure. <laughs> but but i think i think the energy was there for that video for sure yeah most definitely yeah hell yeah um so then going off that too uh, i have one more like kind of specific question like because, okay, you, you said you went to school for filmmaking. Yeah. Was your idea at that time, was it you kind of taking more of, like, the serious route and being like, I'm going to go yeah. be a filmmaker, like, for a marketing company or, like, you know what I mean, shit like that? Or did you kind of always have the, I want to be a music video director? And then on top of that, too, it's, like, for future plans, like, yeah. do, do you kind of want to stay in the music video realm? Do you kind of want to get into whatever movies, fucking advertisements? Sure. So... Well, going into school, like, um, I actually, I wasn't, I didn't declare as, like, a film major until my sophomore year. Mm. So I went in, I was a, like, broadcast communications major. Because I was, like, I knew I was interested in media stuff, right? Okay, but yeah. I didn't, like, I didn't, really like, kind of realize my potential as a filmmaker until I started, you know, working at the marketing company. Yeah. And, um, like, I, at the time, I was just interning or whatever, but... You know, like I was saying earlier, like that was my first time getting a consistent amount of work. So it kind of brought back everything that I taught myself back when I was doing the YouTube shit. Mm -hmm. right. um, and, you know, it, it's crazy, though, because like I never knew like how big of a market there was for video work until I started working there. And like, you know, I got my first check was like a couple hundred bucks. Like, mm -hmm. shit, I'm getting paid for <laughs> fucking shooting videos, you know? And it's crazy because, like, with videos, if you if you do it right, like, if you're really on that grind, you could literally shoot every day. Oh, yeah. Facts. For like, sure. well, <laughs> I couldn't. Like, no, I'm saying, like, that's what I, I would no. never. I would never shoot seven yeah, days no. a week. But you could, like. I won't. Bro, I mean, I've seen, I've seen dude at certain points when he was first starting off, like, it would be, like, five to six videos. Oh, in a straight day. up. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Straight, straight up. up. Yeah. Some shit. Yeah. Give me, you know, talk, if we're talking like, yeah, I don't know if you were shooting during like EDD, like 2020, Most you know, definitely. like, like I'm sure yeah. you know about art, you know, artists were getting videos just like that any anytime they could. And it was like in 2020 for me specifically, that was kind of like, when I was probably like my second or like third year in, started to really like see the money coming in, stuff like that. That once that once once that came in and like everybody was starting to cop videos, there was nothing that was gonna stop me, bro. I didn't give a fuck. I was Man. shooting every day, but that also caused the problem though, because I would be so backed up on videos yeah. to yeah. the point where it's like I would have twenty videos at a time that I'm working on because I could shoot a whole video in a day. But yeah. at the time, especially with yeah. my editing work, my workflow, it was super hard for me to get a whole video done in a day because I would take like probably like up to like eight hours. Yeah. So it's like, you know, of course I'm gonna take a break too like that. That's a full ass shift. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, for at, sure. at the time it was like, I wasn't really, I wasn't really about hitting it like that. But now, you know, it's like, I'm sure you're the same way. Like how you were saying earlier, more selective about your work and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, I've definitely been in the, bro, 2020 to 20, early 2021, bro. That was the most fucking videos i've ever shot in my life <laughs> I, say, I, say, like, I say the same thing I say like the same most thing. money i ever made Man. in a year yeah like, actually like bro that shit was crazy but um 
Yeah, I mean, I've definitely been in a situation like that where I have like 15 videos set and like y'all, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> Dude, straight like straight up, and it's like it's like you have them in order. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's like you can only keep up with this order so much, and especially if you're not, you know, like me personally, I'm not writing the dates down when I create a folder yeah. and I'm you know putting it in there. Yeah. So it's like I got to go back to like figure out which day I'm shooting in. Could like, be a little more organized. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, because I want to be fair. I don't I don't ever like to right. shoot. I don't ever like to edit someone's video ahead of somebody else's if they oh. if they were like before. You know, skip like, the list by ten people. That's my boy right there. I'm gonna edit his shit yeah, first. No, Fuck it. Like, oh, you feel me? Like, nah, it's unfair with it. You feel me? For sure. Yeah, but not. I mean, going back to your question, bro. Like, as far as what I see in the future and how the shit even started, like, I didn't know. Like, bro, if if I would have told myself f- four or five years ago that I'm getting flown out to Paris to go shoot videos, I mean, fuck. But um, you would have never expected it. I'm assuming. <laughs> never, bro. And you know, it's something that I kind of really just fell into, and and. It's a, like I said earlier, it's like a talent that I kind of always had in the back of my head, but I didn't, you know, realize the potential of it until, you know, just a few years ago. And, and um, man, it's, it's crazy. It's just like I'll, I'll go on my, my, my YouTube page sometimes, just kind of look at all my old videos and just, you know, just reflect on how far I've come, bro. Because it's, yeah. it's been a long journey, bro. A lot of sleepless nights and, you know, the fact that I'm able to like, you know, pay the bills and shit from just from shooting videos is, is crazy to me like yeah, huge you know, really like turn my passion into my career oh god um but yeah i mean yes and then you know really like the music i feel like the music videos has always kind of been my passion but you know if you ask any music video director like you know there's really not a lot of money in this shit yeah. even at the bigger scale um you know i mean a, a lot of these guys you know they're shooting a lot of commercials and um kind of other work just to you know keep themselves afloat right right um but um yeah bro i mean like i said it's, it's always kind of just been my passion and i love doing it at the, at the end of the day that's that's why i even got into it so hell yeah you know I, who knows what the future holds but let, let me ask you this do you even beforehand before the before the music videos were you ever shooting weddings I've never shot a wedding. Okay, <laughs> and, it, and, it, and it, it, is that on purpose? <laughs> no, I just never had the opportunity. Okay, I would happily shoot a wedding though. Me personally, me personally, I actually don't shoot weddings on purpose. <laughs> and yeah. the, the reason being is, and I know it sounds crazy because to anyone that like anyone that has shot a wedding before, anyone that knows anything about like you know if you booked if you've had a wedding yourself and you booked a videographer, that shit's you make a lot of money as a video. Yeah. Like that's one of those you know when you do a wedding, you will make a lot of bank. But the thing is, the wedding is so much pressure especially if you don't have a team with you oh, you yeah. know like <laughs> it sounds so bro, annoying you're bro you did, you did a wedding by yourself no 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 i'm saying i, I okay. don't do weddings okay. you know? I won't. but if okay. I, yeah i won't <laughs> <laughs> if i did though if i did though definitely bring in the home definitely bring in the homie josh and i'm definitely trying to bring probably like we'd have to bring tree and de- got a squad for sure gotta yeah. have a third and realistically i would want a fourth yeah. because the thing is is that That's so annoying if you were to miss something <laughs> bro if you were to miss something at the wedding, you're the fucking enemy yeah. for the rest oh, of the yeah. night. Everybody there hates you, bro. You got 100 people on your ass now. Bro, and, and imagine, oh. like, you know, a lot of them, too, they want, like, you know, if you don't have that team with you and you're pulling up to the neck, like, you would have to do the photos, you'd have to do the videos and all that stuff. And it's, like, not saying that, like, I can't work under pressure, but when it's like that and there's, like, a lot of these moments are only happening one time and if yeah. you miss it, it's fucked. Yeah. I can't get into that, bro. Like, what are you like, gonna do? Can we get the fucking the I do one more time? Like, nah, yeah, no like, way. <laughs> well, hey, hey, hey. no, nah, run that back, run that back. <laughs> hey, do that kiss one more time. Bro. Do that kiss uh, one more time. You guys got it. Come on, like. And then they for weddings for show. You already know they're hitting you the next day. Hey, let me get the picture. Oh yeah. Like, they ready to post it, boy. Everybody that I know get married, they post their shit three hours after the wedding. Like, bro, go enjoy your damn night. Like, what are you doing? Hold, hold, hold the, the, the whole highlights on the YouTube I'm literally the next like, day. Man, like, <laughs> like, that's insane to me. You already know whoever took the fucking photos is hella mad at home. Like, oh, yeah, no way. Yes, here, take them. Oh, <laughs> God. Man, bro, oh, God. Imagine, imagine you shoot a wedding and your SD card corrupts. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Over. <laughs> nah, there's just no way. I would want to end my life. You gotta send yeah. all the money back. Public enemy number <laughs> one. <laughs> but like, send all the money back. <laughs> like, uh, whose wedding was it for the when we were up on the golf? Uh, was it uh, oh, Amanda? Yeah, Amanda. Amanda and, and they, they, the, uh, the the dude who was the photographer. So the dude that was a photographer, bro. He had a motherfucking camera. He had two cameras, and he had one on his belt. 
like a fucking strap. Oh yeah, and he, he was like, like fucking double in, fisting him. He was like, <laughs> shit was crazy. As fuck. <laughs> he was going in between like he would take pictures. I think he had one set for videos yeah. or like maybe one set for like a, a one close had a up. big ass lens on it too, and then nah. one was like a shorter one, and he would literally have one strap like this, one strap like this, and he was just <laughs> literally like, oh, like that's crazy. I was like, Brad's really doing his thing. That's some hard work. Yeah, and man. he had a he had a belt buckle for it. Like he had a he had a like like a thing for like his belt. Batman utility a tool belt. belt. Yes, shit. bro, and it clipped on every time like he wanted to switch, it would go. Like, yeah, he had a strap on, bro. It was funny as fuck. I feel like the worst part is, like, that shit is corny. Like, some of the <laughs> wedding photos is so corny, bro. Like, oh, my God. Bro, especially that, the little, uh, the wife taps you on the shoulder. Yeah, to- more <laughs> like, yeah, man. Yeah, you see that in every wedding video. Like, Hey, we just saying, we, we saying what the other people won't say. You know what I mean? That's like, just straight the truth. up, that's man. That's some of the pics is so corny, bro. Like, imagine the videographer, you said, give her a kiss on the cheek. Oh my I know the women, the women of the wedding love that shit though. That's, oh, yeah. that's, that's the undeniable sure. part. Yeah, part. I respect it. I respect it for sure. But yeah. it's like I just can't imagine being behind the camera like yeah. kiss her on the cheek. Kiss her. <laughs> yeah, but you nah. guys are looking great. <laughs> Boy, looking great. <laughs> happy family. Happy family, bro. Like, come on now. <laughs> that's yeah. crazy to me. So, so let's pivot um, a little bit. So I kind of want to get on some like on the topic of like social media a little more. Um, something that we're big on is like building our brands our identities what have you like so to speak uh as these people behind the computer right so i mean artists obviously they they are their brand and it's it's easy it comes naturally because they're on camera they're dropping songs or it's their voice with us it's kind of like you kind of have to fit in into the puzzle somewhere like as far as like your look on social media like your aesthetic your even showing your face, right? Plenty of, plenty of producers <laughs> and videographers. I have literally no idea what they look like. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, it took yeah. me forever to find Brad's shit because I won't lie. I'm not tapped in with all this. Right. And they said you was going to be on a pod. They're like, yeah, come through, be on a pod with Brad. I was like, for sure. They sent me an Instagram. I was scrolling through, bro. I was like, I don't know which one of this. It's a lot of videos. It's a <laughs> yeah, lot it's, of yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. 40 of them in a row is like all videos. And it's like, oh, that must be Brad. Like, I yeah. think that's Brad. Hell yeah. I like, don't know. And then, the, yeah, no, for sure. And then. I mean, it's the same thing with me. More recently, I've been more like that, like posting where I'm showing my face and like whether it's even just being funny. I did a TikTok with Tree. Like, oh yeah, that was so funny. Not too long ago, and like Classic. just certain little shit. Like, is that something that you do care about or like are looking to maybe um, put some effort into? Because some people, it's kind of like mixed responses. Some people like remaining almost like like yeah. keeping that anonymity to them, right? Like staying behind the camera, not really. Yeah. showing that some other people are like real natural with it and like to show their face like yeah. what, on that topic what do you uh, what's your response to that yeah that that's one of the things i realize is like people would rather like follow a person rather than somebody to just post a bunch of music videos mm-hmm. True. so i mean and sometimes it's hard bro because most of the time i'm just shooting by myself like i'm literally by myself I setting up you. all the lights all the you feel me doing everything on my own so if i can like i'll have somebody come and try to do some behind the scenes for me yeah but yeah, it's, it's just hard sometimes. Like, you know that reel that you're talking about, bro? It's like, it's pretty much all just me recording, you know, that I, from my... In between shots? Exactly. I'm already knowing. Exactly. Like, I'm already knowing. Or like, sometimes I'll do the mid shot or whatever, like, right. while I'm shooting, you know? But that shit's hard, bro. Hey, I, <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> nah, y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand when you're solo, bro. Especially, I don't know if you was like... Like, back then, I would always do it with my Ronin M because I had, like, the little middle fucking... Uh, little middle, like, mm. uh, what's it called? Little cage that I could grab or whatever. Hitting the little forward and trying to get like a reel, like or trying to get like a recorded with your phone, is one of the hardest things ever. Without oh, busting yeah. the shot. Sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hot yeah. 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 videos ruined because you're trying to get a fucking reel. Yeah, like. <laughs> nah, you know. man. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, that, that's something like that. I just bring that topic up because, like, with us, we've kind of been blessed in a way. Like, even so, I mean, he does videos, I do the beats. He doesn't necessarily do either of those, but he's just as into it as, as it is with the yeah. same, or it's the same with the rest of our team, too. So we've kind of been lucky enough it's like we want to do a vlog okay let's do a vlog not that we've done that too much but we kind of messed with it before and it's just like it's important i feel like i feel like i'm yeah. trying to advocate for anyone behind the computer to be doing that because all that does is give power to us you feel me like yeah. it, creating brands for ourselves like you said uh, the person it's you're almost selling the person more than the product a lot of the time like Fact, with, yeah for sure. producing i could speak on that it's like there's people that for sure really aren't the greatest producers right like the craziest most versatile most talented so to speak i mean i guess it's all subjective but people will like you said fall in love with like the face or like the, yeah. the comedy aspect of it or whatever the fuck so i like to touch on that with the i mean if you think about like bros like jack harlow yeah like 
Man, like you love Jack Harlow, but not because every song that he drops is fire. Right, right, right. right, right he's right. just funny. <laughs> he's just a with, funny with dude. Artists too, yeah, dude, same, same yeah. thing. Yeah, and everybody fucks with him, like the whole industry. And you can same shit for merch, right? Like if everybody ain't no Drake, people's not buying no OVO merch, bruh. Right, <laughs> that no, merch is mid. No one's seeing the owl. Yeah, like, like that. Hard. That shit is mid. It's hard because you know who Drake is. Right. Like, oh boy, yeah. fire! That dude drops fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, if you ain't no Drake, bro, you ain't fucking with it. Yeah, hell yeah. I mean, and it's, I don't know, I kind of just like to, because with that too, a topic that we almost always touch on is like, when we kind of said it a little bit earlier, it's it's tough getting paid when you're on the back end of a lot of the shit with the videos or, or with the producing or whatever. Um, so I kind of wanted to get to a point where we have like a, I don't know, an atmosphere in this whole creative space, like where we're, we are just as important as the rappers and shit, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, that's that's the goal. I hope that day comes. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's times where I know hey, I get shit on. Hey, it's, I'm, you know. it's, it's slowly starting to. Yeah. I, yeah. I would say, like, maybe, maybe directors, it's going to be a little bit slower because, I mean, probably, like, to the average viewer, like, the average consumer is probably not as, like, a... It's not as common to really be into the director as maybe like the artist or like the producer, but like you see the producer starting to come up too. Yeah. You know, like everybody Metro knows, Boomin tapes. I was just gonna say yeah. everyone knows Metro. Everybody knows yeah. like the Sunny Digital, you know, and stuff like that. And they're starting yeah. to even on some more, you know, closer to us shit like Infinite. We had Infinite. I, on I was gonna say ago. even even more locally, you know, people are starting to, uh, you know, people are starting to realize who these producers are and you know their songs. Like we like we had Ev and some of his homies, and they were all asking inf- or uh, not Infinite. They were all asking exclusive, exclusive because they all, like. I didn't even realize like they would know all this brother. like they were talking yeah. about all his all his music that he's produced for you know like yeah but you become like a character almost in yeah. this yeah. whole you know, you know what I mean this whole movie I guess you could call it yeah not nah, for sure for sure yeah, let's get this one on cam it's good. Well, right. we're sure back from a little intermission salute yes sir just like water mm-hmm. <laughs> that's a tough. That's a kind of a specific topic, but it is tough, dude. Like when you're first coming up, I mean, obviously just getting in the swing of things, like getting into, like how you said, you, you were sending your portfolio out to get kind of networked with people and stuff. It's even tougher when you're in that same time period and you don't know what a price list looks like to somebody that's doing it right next to you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's like, sure. what the fuck? What should I be charging? The same shit with beats too. Like how much was sell beats for? I, I know producers that have way more than me in terms of like placements views whatever you know what i mean shit like that and they'll charge cheaper and then like the other way around people that have way less that charge more it's a, it's weird it's a weird uh weird market for the anything thing, creative i feel like the thing that always get me when i was like especially first like kind of like getting used to like you know doing videos and like having that be like a like on the almost on the daily type of thing was when i would like see people it like Cause there's always been like situations, whether it's a rapper that like wants to start shooting videos, or like just anyone that like you know, you kind of see like starting to get into it, and they immediately just start charging like five hundred dollars, or like they would post on their story like you want a music video, seven hundred bucks, some shit like that, and I would see their videos, and it was like they had no fucking re- they had no <laughs> Windows reason, Movie Maker, but they had no reason to say it exactly like it's like edited on iMovie, like you could just tell like they didn't even mess with the frames when they were shooting it type shit, like I always thought that shit was funny, but like me personally, I would, like when I would see that, I'd just be like. Fuck, man! I need to start charging that. Like, <laughs> yeah. If they're if they're if they're actually getting videos like this, like how the fuck am I not? Like, right. It's know? the same shit with any field, though. Like the rate okay. that you charge is kind of whatever. For me, even like, I bartend a lot. Right. So say I'm at the bar and they say, "Hey, we got this event, blah blah blah." You know, like, "Hey, how much for the event?" You know? Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, how many people? They're like, oh, uh, sixty people. Cool. You pull up and like, all right, five hundred bucks. Going right, I feel like for bartenders, probably like between 80 to 120 an hour because it's a lot of bullshit. Ain't nobody yeah. know how to do the shit that they do. Right. Pull up to the event, bro. You save 500 bucks. Really? That shit was like a thousand bucks worth your time. You're probably total time like 15 hours deep because you got to create a menu for them, right? You got to make all the drinks while you're at the event. You got to do all the prep. You got to go to the store, get the liquor. You got to talk to them about everything they want. I did an event for 400 bucks like a couple weeks ago. Oh my God, bro! I probably spent thirty hours, <laughs> like <laughs> thirty hours, bro, for four hundred dollars, bro. Uh, like, what I'm gonna do with four hundred dollars, man? Right. I'm cool. <laughs> oh my God, piss me off. No, nah, I've, I've definitely been in those situations where it's like, you know, you're worth more than what you're getting paid, but it, you know, sometimes yeah. you gotta take, you know, you gotta take, take it on the chin. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. bro. Yeah. Hell yeah. Get him again. 
I could definitely <laughs> I could definitely say that with me. I've done three UD videos, and like mm. those are like literal like twenty to forty hour edits. Oh man! And it's like I've never pulled the trigger on just being like, all right, I'm not gonna lie, I need I need the two bands for this, <laughs> or I need the I need the fifteen hundred. You know what I mean? Usually I still I get it for like or not I get it. I usually do them for like a couple hundred more than I usually would. You know what I mean? But if we're talking like hours, when it comes down to it, it's literally like a 10, yeah. 15 hour more process. You know what I mean? Yeah. What um like what program do you use to do? You know what's funny? That stuff. When I do 3D work, I'm actually in After Effects, and I use Element 3D. Mm, okay. So it's kind of like a cheat, right? And the reason why I say that is because if you go to, like, normal, like, if you just look up any, like, uh, 3D tutorial on YouTube, you're probably going to get, like, Blender, Cinema 4D, if you want to go, like, the, uh, what's it called? The professional standard route or whatever it is. Yeah. Element 3D is kind of more of, like, the fun plug-in or whatever. You know, it's usually kind of for, like, smaller scale, like, uh, projects and stuff like that. But... When it comes down to music videos, I'm able to kind of like use it a lot more efficiently because I don't actually have to extrude models or I don't have to make a bunch of 3D shit. Like mm -hmm. if I want, like, so if I want to do some real custom shit, probably couldn't do it, right? In a sense of like a super like specific, like, okay, I know like, like for example, like a Babytron, right? From Shitty Boys. Yeah. He has some like 3D animated <clears throat> videos where like they literally make him into a 3D fucking model. You From know what scratch, I mean? And, like, right. Yeah. Like yeah. shit like that, a lot more tough. Feel me? I'm not sitting here making models and stuff like that. Yeah. In Element 3D, it's like pre-made, pre-made 3D yeah, models. Yeah. Exactly. So yeah. like they have their own pre-made, which you could technically like extrude from that. You can make your own models like through that. But the real thing that most people do is they download from the internet. Yeah. So on the internet, you can get like 3D models that are OBJ, and that works perfectly for Element 3D. So like let's say I just want to make like a crazy ass like I want to make a city, right? And I want to make like like a uh, a lot of times for videos that I do, I'll put like the wrapper on top of like a building when it's like a crazy ass like a, what's the word like metaverse looking city or like a crazy ass shit like yeah, that. Some Batman shit. Exactly like stuff like that. Yeah, I can yeah. just go to the internet, right? And I can just Copy go to hell of different websites, hell of different free like versions and stuff like that. All I got to do is download it, put it in, and then really like the hard part is just figuring out like the shading and like lighting and stuff like that because all that's just like custom. You know what I mean? Yeah. Not to go on like a fucking full ass nerd Super conversation about it, you know huh. what I mean? But uh, I, anyone that's that's just, this, this is where I shine. It interests, yeah. it interests me so much. I love that shit. Like, I mean, that's kind of a good way to segue into one of my questions I had too. It's like, because that's kind of the you can get by without knowing how to do three D work, for example, with, yeah. with videos. Um, but that's almost like an extra little slot in your tool belt. Like, have you ventured into anything specific? Like, that's a little. Uh, not exactly just, you know, directing videos and shooting videos. Like, do you do uh, graphic design at all? You take pictures? Or has it been kind of just, like, strictly videos? Because, like, I, I make beats, obviously, but then I've dabbled in the videos, too, early on. Just, like, on some whatever, just not creative, random shit. But then I'm real big on, like, graphic design. Like, I do all our shirts and shit, and I make all our logos and all that. So it's like, have you stepped into any realm like that? Get any specific little tools? Um, not, not necessarily graphic design, but, like, I... Even after, you know, I started doing all the YouTube stuff, like, I would always just have a camera. Like, I always loved taking pictures and mm -hmm. just um, stuff like that, but... Anyone with a camera. Yeah, oh, exactly. God. Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. I always felt like like having a camera is just kind of like an extension of, like, my, my vision or whatever, sure. right? Um, but, yeah, I mean, I would like to, like, it's just... I've been so caught up just doing like getting getting in the habit of just doing so many videos that it just takes up all my time. It's no free time to exactly. learn. Exactly. Like I'm thing. you know, just more so kind of working for the artists instead of working for myself and my own vision. So that's kind of one of the things, mm -hmm. you know, that I've been trying to step away from just not necessarily step away from, but just kind of, you know, like go back to why I started, like you know, because I, I, like, I have, I really had a passion for the shit at the Hell end yeah. of the day. Yeah. And I know exactly what you mean by that. Yeah. Like, sometimes I can get caught up with, you know, the, the same workflow that I'm used to. And then, you know, doing the same, like, whether it's, like, with the editing style or the same shooting style. And it's, like, it does feel good to go back to YouTube. Yeah. Watch a good old fucking hour or two, maybe even more, of just straight watching tutorials. For just sure, what I used yeah, to do yeah. when I first started. That was how I learned everything about what uh, like what I know now. You yeah. know what I mean? Going straight to YouTube, just finding all these like because deep dive and deep dives in the rabbit holes of tutorials you watched in the beginning of your career. Those you're 100 percent right about that. That's oh, crazy. God. I was just thinking this the other day too. Like I was watching uh, some of Infinite's videos, funny enough, and then a few other people too. But it's like you tend to forget these small little. Uh, 
like nuanced things that yeah. that you learn and just kind of like oh shit that's fire as fuck when you first learn it but then it's like do you continue to use it every yeah. in every yeah, creative yeah. process that you have like it's cool to get a little reminder like that'll definitely get you back on track for sure or even inspire some new shit for like, sure it, yeah especially inspiring some new shit you know like if you go through like a whole like a whole period of time like especially like i could say for videos you know if i don't use this certain effect or i don't use a certain style of effect and i like i remember it and i realize it there's a lot of stuff that i might have learned within the last like couple months of not using that that i could add to that or i could like utilize it in a certain different way you know what i mean yeah. like yeah so um in my bad uh kind of a pivot but i just wanted to ask this real quick because we did only have one um, instagram question i think it's because instagram's kind of fucked right now so oh, God. we didn't get the full time period to get all the questions in. But um, one of our guys actually asked, uh, what are your hacks, he said hacks, or tips you can give to get a sharp, crispy, cinematic video like yours? Because you, you do got that on lock. I'm not going to lie. Is there, I mean, it's, it's kind of a broad question, I guess, but it's, uh, maybe if you have an answer. I don't know if I have, like, one specific thing, but... I just know, like, me personally, I've always focused on quality, and um, uh, people say all the time, like, the equipment doesn't matter, but... It does. It does. <laughs> you know, like, um, I think, okay, one thing I, I, I will say is is having your lighting on point. Mm. Um, that's really the most important part of, of, of any video. So let me ask you, are you, when you're, when you're getting ready for shots and you're getting prepared for shots, are you taking a lot of time beforehand to compose or to compose the shot or should I say, or is it more like kind of like uh, sometimes you're on the run with it? Necessarily, yeah, if, you know if I, mean? I can, I mean, it, it depends on the situation that you're in. Cause a lot of people would rather just shoot a, an hour video and just mm -hmm. have that, you know, and s some people want to actually take the time to, do some pre-production and write a treatment and plan stuff out. So, you know, it, 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 it depends on the situation that you're in, but um, I would say most of the time it's just on the fly. Yeah, um, I was going to say, if you're going to give them like a ratio almost, like just for people that maybe haven't, you know, got to your guys' level of how many shoots you've done, the experience level and all that, like I would assume it's like 90% to 10%, like point and shoots versus yeah. people that really, really want to get down and like, we're spending the money, the time. We're getting the right spot. We're getting all the proper uh, props or treatment, whatever. shot treatment, list, yeah, all, all that, that yeah. shit. Like, is that about accurate? Or would you say it's a little closer to even? Like, because I'm, def I'll say for myself personally, I'm definitely more on the side of we're kind of doing some point and shoots. We're getting to yeah. it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I, it's it's it, really what it comes down to is the like the situation you're putting yourself in, right? So. If you're gonna take on all these point and shoots, like you gotta expect that to, mm. you know, just work on the fly and make something out of nothing, really. And I've kind of, not to play, like not to play into my ego or anything, but like, I feel like I've kind of reached the ceiling as to what you can accomplish doing running gun stuff. Sure. Mm. And I'm kind of in that phase where I'm transitioning into doing more, you know, more cre just more creative stuff, and not even necessarily like having all this, you know, this whole pre-production process, right? But just coming up with some different concepts and, you know, doing some. Something that's more planned out rather than just show up. Like, how many yeah. times can you right. say, stand in front of this tree? Right. <laughs> go, go stand in front of this fence. Lean no, up we should get a wall. We should get a shot of you sitting down. Sitting and down. after that, yep. get one of you standing up. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's sure. going to be fire. Yeah. yeah. One with the homies, one without the homies. <laughs> yep. Same spot. Yep. It's going to be yeah. dope. For sure. Like, no, I, I, know, bro, I know exactly what you mean by that. And I think uh, a little more what I mean, like, because I, I shouldn't say, like, necessarily I'm, I'm just sitting here doing, like, 100% just like point shoots because I do like to get a little sense of what I like what I'm going into and then like especially if I am doing a point and shoot I still got to know like like I said what I'm getting into so like if I have to call the person like all right so what's the location right if we're doing inside a smoke shop this isn't that or we're doing it inside like a place like okay do you know the person this is not or do you mother are you expecting us to just pull up and we're just gonna do this yeah. you know what I mean like something like that I have to know exactly what we're getting into and kind of like a little like in my head if I don't write it down I have to get a little shot list together like how yeah. like you know what I mean? I feel like all that type of stuff is kind of important because if you do go into it and you're just like like you said, all right, you want to get behind the street, you want to do this little show, you want to do this. It's kind of going to get repetitive and there's only so much you can do just going in without knowing anything, you know what I mean? Yeah. And that shoot's so. going to be whack, bro. If you Hell yeah. if he calls you in the morning, he's like, "Hey, bro, at 9 p.m. tonight, pull up over here. Let's get the shoot." And you don't know nothing about where you're going. You just pull up. The shoot's going to be whack. And Facts. a lot of the times, you know? I'm sure it's like that. You yeah. Know what I mean? like yeah, more yeah, often yeah, than yeah. Not, it's say. like it really is like that. Especially in the beginning stage, too. I feel like you got to like in the beginning. Cuz sure, yeah, yeah, you you got to you got to start making it like a point to like with the artist like start 
communicating with them and like you know figuring out how you want to do it because if you do kind of just leave it up to them then it's going to be like that every fucking time you're just going to pull up and yeah. it's going to be like all right bro what you want to do you know yeah I mean? I mean you'll have the people that they know exactly what they want and may have shot x amount of videos before and they know what it takes to you know put a nice video together you'll have some people that don't have any idea what the fuck they want to do right and you got to make something out of nothing like you know yeah. it, it and it, it just comes back to like the people that you're working with mm -hmm. and you know that's why i've always kind of just made a point to like really only f work with people that are serious about the shit and not just like you know just let's shoot this video so i can look good for some hoes or right whatever. right <laughs> you know? right yeah like but um, having all the homies chains on and shit exactly <laughs> yeah but um, i wanted to ask though so how many like you unique locations you guys pull up to when you guys shoot videos? So I mean it could be for different bros, right? So like you have ten different people, you're all shooting videos for them. Yeah. Is it like a bunch of different locations or is it like locations that you've already been to that you know so you could get a shot right? Um, it depends. A lot of the times the artists will like have a location in mind already. Or yeah. like say we like we'll go to Blink Tone and shoot a video or like Red Wall or whatever and that's kinda of But it's spots that you know. So exactly, you know yeah. So doing. sometimes and then sometimes the artist will be like, Hey, do you, you have any spots? So like I mm. kind of have I, I was watching the episode with Sebastian where he like he has mm. fucking all these pins or whatever. I've kind of done, <laughs> been doing the same thing. Yeah, yeah. So like at least in the no, city, that like, was a fire gym by him. So and, yeah, and, yeah. And, 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 little move. And, well, and, too. He 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 told us, he told me that on our podcast when I went with them to like I once he once I heard that I was like dude that's so smart like that's so I got the same smart. shit but it's for spots to take bitches like in the <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah 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 of those little cut go to spot. yeah hey, like the little cutty spots hey we from the tank of course we got it we got to get the views going you know <laughs> it's like oh yeah we up there. <laughs> No, yeah. for sure though it, and that's a good good people to bring up too because uh so we had sebastian on here we also had adam kg on here they're mm. whatever co-owners of a, a blink tone right is that something that you maybe want to get into or do you um because i know me and him we've, we've talked about opening up a studio like whether it's for videos or like, for recording music definitely one of the goals yeah, for that's sure. one of the goals so. at, at some point is that a you know is having your own space like that is that something that you're uh, maybe trying to venture into at some point yeah i mean um i've definitely thought about it a lot uh like really it's crazy like if you go to la there's fucking 50 50 music or 50 video studios you know film studio or whatever options out here yeah like really up until the last couple of years it was only like red wall that was basically right. the only yeah. one Unless you wanted to go, like, yeah, no, for sure. It was, like, Red Wall, and, like, within the last couple years, there was, like, uh, Elevated. Like, you know that one? Oh, yeah, yeah, All uh -huh. the fucking way in Sacramento. Sacramento if yeah. you want to go all the way up there. Yeah. Like, it's, like, so very few options. And even with that, I mean, to, to, to even to this day with Blink Tone and all that, like, I actually just went to one recently that was in, like, Vallejo. That was, like, one of the more, like, uh, like newer ones that I've been to. Even with that, it's, like, still, I haven't seen that, like, many new ones. You know what I mean? It's, like, we have yeah. Blink Tone, Red Wall, and then, like I said, like, that one Elevated. And I think... Uh, there was a, like even this one was in the last couple of years. Uh, what's it called? Box lit. Yeah. Like you know, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm talking about. Uh -huh. It, it kind of goes with, with what you were saying too. Like uh, like with locations and stuff like that. I feel like the only times where I'm really like coming to a repetitive scene is when I'm coming to studios. Yeah. But even in that sense, most of these studios are kind of like uh, knowledge enough to. They're gonna change their settings. You know what mm. I mean? They're not just gonna have the same thing. Like I that's mix it up. that's why I really fuck with Blink Tone. That's why I really fuck with going like Adam Adams and, and Sebastian Studios because that one in specific has always changed. I've never mm. pulled up there and been on the same like location. Oh, so they, they oh. mix the their like pre-designed sets. Up yeah, yeah, yeah. Dope. Like originally they had like the uh, they had a church setting. I remember with the with the cross. I think mm. the cross is still there, but like they had like like that room has changed so many times into so many different things. Like oh, I think yeah, that yeah. it's like they had like an asylum looking room and then they had more of like a. Like, I think the one that I went to most recently, it was, like, they had, like, the TV setups, like, the old, like, static TVs and, like, mm -hmm. you know, the newspaper all around, shit like that. You know what I mean? It was more, yeah. like, old school, like, on some different shit, but... They just keep changing it up. Exactly. So, it's, like, oh, nowadays, cool. I feel like the only time you're really going to get into, like, some repetitive shit is if there's a motherfucker who's kind of, like, unoriginal and he wants to tell it because yeah. it's like I seen this them I see like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. this bro video was fire over here let's go over there yeah like <laughs> hey th th there's like a little other corner like at that spot you went to over there like you something like that how many how many times have we got hit either you or me or one of our artists where it's like bro where'd you shoot this yeah, we're all right. We all have for this one. Don't be asking that. It's like, why? Why do you put, like, do some scouting for this fucking video? Yeah, like, what yeah, does it matter? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, get some random ass spots. That's hella dope. <laughs> you know, like, there's so many random. Like, what is that spot up on the hill, bro? Like, by y'all crib? By Graham's over there. Where, where the wedding was at. The golf, yeah. the golf course. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and not gonna like, lie. Bro, that's ne fire over that, there. Never yeah. seen a vid there. 
That's what I'm saying, bro. And it's fired. Fire. Fire. And anyone in that area knows that spot too. Oh, People God. gotta just be more original. I yeah, that's what it comes down to. Let's get some new spots, bro. Yeah, but um, and then one last question, kind of on that same tip though, regarding the Sebastian thing, like. So do you do any type of location scouting? Like maybe for videographers listening, like is that something that you do or is it you don't really need to? Like I'm, maybe it doesn't even. You already know the spots. How yeah. often How often are you supplying the location? That's a better way to ask it. Mm. Not too often. Cause I'm, hey, I'll be real mm. with you. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. I mean, location. well, that's the thing is like most people will ha- already have an idea in mind, like whether you're shooting in the hood or like whatever it is. Right. Yeah. Um, or, you know, you go book blink tone or whatever, anything on pure space or whatever. Right. Like whatever the situation may be. I mean. Like, I kind of have, I've definitely shot, like, multiple videos in a specific location that I just kind of found on my own and try to make that shit look different. But I think what it what it really comes down to is just being creative enough to kind of make that, you know, make that space look as different as you can. And, and whether it's the color, the same spot, exact time yeah. of day, yeah. or yeah. different, yeah. you know, whether it's setting up your lighting differently. Man, or, that's what yeah. I was going to say. That's, yeah. what, that's what these have done me so exactly. well, bro. I can, yeah. say, I can go to any studio and make it look completely different. The same spot yeah. looks different. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. No, nah, but I mean, lighting is, and just to touch on that, bro, lighting is so fucking important. Like, it's beyond just being able to know how to, you know, set your camera up, like, that's one of my biggest takeaways from film school is learning how to set up lights properly and like mm-hmm. all see videos to this day. Some some of y'all favorite cameramen do not know how to light, bro. <laughs> right. Like the lights will be on the ground and there's hella shadows on the artist's face and like, bro, yeah. what are you doing? <laughs> like like there's a certain there's a certain there's there's a certain way to lighting that I feel like a lot of people don't understand and you know it, especially like when it comes down to like a like I've had artists a lot of times too they'll be like oh you should put the light right here. And it'll be like literally like directly under them. And it's like, like, like we're not, we're not, we're not, shooting, we're not shooting a horror story. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want you to like look Have like you gotten the people yeah. that like, they'll, they're like, hey, can I hold the light in the video? Like, oh, oh, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, no, hey, genu- hey, genuinely, like, I'm glad you, you got asked. Because yeah. most people just grab it. Like most yeah, people, sure. like I have videos. No, I have videos, bro. No, where I'm like, hot. yeah, like like lightsaber in it, like holding it up. Like, I'm it's, hot. Like, uh, like it's a little uh, looks a little stupid. Like like it's one of those fucking. Uh, God damn it! What do they give out? When, uh, usually like you can snap it to your wrist. They have like a little fucking the glow sticks, glow sticks, bro. They're holding yeah. shit. Yeah. Uh, they're like a big ass glow hot. stick. Like that's. I'm f- hot. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I'm hot, man. <laughs> that's rough, right? There. I wanted to ask actually. This is like a random question, probably for both of you guys. Let's talk about it. So obviously some of the people that you pull up on shoes for it's like not the kind of bros that you're trying to order them around you understand what i'm saying oh, yeah right oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so does it ever get kind of funky when you're trying to shoot the video and you're trying to make it look fire but you gotta tell them hey i need you to do this like does it ever feel awkward for you guys to be doing shit like that because i see some of the bros i'm like whoo I don't know if I'm telling that brother to do something because he's right. <laughs> on my ass, you know? You, you answer first. I, I got a response for sure after. Okay, well, I mean, I think def- – well, so when I first – like, when I first started shooting, bro, I was hella uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll be I'll be in the hood by myself. Like, bro, yeah. what the fuck is going on right now? But um, – Yes, sir. <laughs> I've always been kind of a – like more like quieter, introverted, whatever. And I, mm-hmm. that's something I kind of had to break out of or whatever and just – learning through experience and just kind of yeah. came naturally over time but um bro like even even if it's like with videos with like 50 different people like you know all whatever trying to pop their shit in front of the camera yeah. it's like yeah I'm straight gonna just la- i'm gonna just point the camera and just <laughs> oh, you, know, just, you know i'll get some b-roll or whatever and just kind of make some but yeah. also you know it plays into the communication that you have with the artist because yeah. you know if if you're able to let them know like okay this is what we need to do this is the, these are the shots we can get and then you can kind of let that stuff just happen naturally but right. especially dealing with like bro people like i'm sure you have this experience as well as shooting with a lot of drunk people oh oh yeah like bro Oh yeah, it's such a fucking headache. Bro. I, I I I hate repeat, I hate repeating the same thing hey, ten handle times. Handle your alcohol. That's, that's my absolute, handle your fucking alcohol for sure. <laughs> yeah. What what I'll what I'll okay. say with that, and it's like kind of like kind of in the same thing. Like uh, at first when I was shooting with people, it's like I I felt that like damn okay like especially with the certain the, the certain group the certain bro however it is don't really feel like I want to be you know bossing yeah. them around quote yeah. unquote you know what I mean do this bro. Yeah. But what I really started to realize is that. It, it kind of like it might not make sense at first but kind of hear me out these people that you think 
are gonna like react in like a certain way like that are actually gonna react that way if you aren't in that certain way like if you're hella yeah, timid yeah, yeah, if you're hella yeah. timid and you're hella like you don't like eat you up. whatever yeah. you whatever you want to do yeah. like what am i paying you like in their head yeah, what am yeah, i paying yeah, you yeah, for yeah, you know yeah, what i mean yeah, like yeah. no nah, like you know what to do in a sense like if i'm if i look stupid you should be telling me mm. and, and like that, that's what I, like there's been so many times where bro like like whether it's they had something on their face, like to maybe something on their teeth. The biggest teeth, thing, like something yeah, on their teeth. Yeah. Like, damn, bro, you didn't tell me I had something on my teeth? Like, I really didn't fucking notice. Like, I really <laughs> yeah. wasn't sitting here. Well, I was right here like this. What you <laughs> but, mean? But right? at the end of the day, like, I would sit here and think, like, damn, if I did see something in their teeth, like, man, I don't really want to sit here and be like, bro, like, but <laughs> oh, your teeth. in front of his whole uh, Hey, put us out your teeth, the whole squad but right at, here behind them. At, the the, at the end of the day, bro, it sucks, but you really should, though. That's yeah. the weird part about yeah. it. It's like, because because at the end of the day, you have to be professional and, like, you have to. Like it's kind of your job to know how it's gonna come out professional. Yeah. So like when it when it comes to that, like you kind of have to be, you kind of have to do be like, I hate sounding like this, but you do have to kind of be assertive and like you do kind of yeah. have to be like, oh, you yeah. know, like if, they, yeah. if the shots coming out weak, you have to be the one to, to yeah. tell that because they don't know how that screen looks. Yeah, they yeah, have yeah, no yeah. idea. How you're that the only one that know. Especially like most of these motherfuckers are not like most of these bros aren't females we're not sitting here with mirrors and our purses and shit like that going like you know what i mean like we don't have like like you know what i mean we don't have yeah. the, the full yeah. knowledge of that so for sure nah. i mean it, it all plays it not to cut you off but yeah, it's it, all good it all plays into like the respect you've garnered too like yeah. right over the time that you've yeah. done it it's like someone books you for a shoot and your btc visuals who has not posted any videos yet, yeah, right? yeah he just started it's hard for you to even respect yourself in that role enough yeah. to be like i'm about to tell these grown men yeah what that, to do like what to do yeah you said this but, looks fucking whack yeah but but the quicker that you you know come into your own for anyone watching right like the quicker you come into your own and just be confident with it like it's gonna it's always gonna play into itself like better yeah, in that facts. way like the, the longer you take to get out of that kind of uncomfortable bubble i mean i've dealt with similar shit too like if i'm engineering right like cause i used to engineer at a, a red eye recording studios i was about to say red wall um red eye recording studios and like in the for the first fuck like two months i was like scared to tell somebody to redo the shit but i do have an ear though right like i know yeah. i've been recording people since we were in the garage at dill's pad fucking six years ago right yeah which i guess isn't the longest amount of time but i yeah. know how shit's supposed to sound yeah. and i have an ear yeah. the same way you guys have eyes right you guys have a vision you guys know what you guys are wanting to see it's like being able to uh convey that to somebody else yeah. is powerful right? hell yeah so it's all in the uh, all in the all in the delivery, I guess. For sure, really. In the grand scheme is better than just letting them sound whack or look right. Like, oh god, yeah, never oh say god. nothing, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's like the the better this shit performs, the better we're both gonna be off. Yeah, like, it comes so back it's on like, you too. I gotta put in my little. Bullshit and, too. and and they know that too. I feel like that's yeah. like a big part yeah, of it. Yeah, like yeah. you know what I mean? You, you should at it just like with some like respective assertiveness. They're gonna yeah. fucking respect you. Man. I mean, they a lot Hopefully. of the time they don't even really know how to think from that. Uh, point of view because they're not a videographer or they're not a producer so it's like you gotta just yeah, yeah. let them know what's up you, hey you guys did the song but let me do this part <laughs> and, and that's, i'm gonna do you right i'm gonna do you right yeah, i mean that's why they out. paid you oh, that's God. why they paid you to do it they mm -hmm. know you're gonna do it right Man, but on the other side of the spectrum bro sometimes you'll get those people that just the random people that sit there and try to tell you how you, how to do your job mm -hmm. very so, true do, yeah, very do you ever, so don't get me wrong that's tough for sure yeah. but do you ever run into the homie like the rapper's homie who is all of a sudden a director oh, when you get to the video sure. like i love talking about this because it's one of my favorite like i like oh, one of the funniest I things too. one of the funniest things in the world is just when a like when you set something up like you like you set up all the lighting you like you're like like i said earlier you're, you're comp you're, you're composing the video you know you're getting your composition and all that and then as you're about to start recording like just one of the homies just comes up hey bro shouldn't you do this right here like you feel me like uh, bro it like ah oh, there's nothing that just gets on my like on my nerves more because like i feel you and, and i understand that that person is just trying to make the video better. Yeah. And, and that's why I, I can never really truly get like like mad at it. You know what I mean? But it's like uh, Sebastian, like when we were on his pod, he was saying the same thing. It's like, sometimes like, yeah, I'm just hear you out, but I'm gonna just do what the fuck I'm going with. You know what I yeah. mean? Like, yeah, oh sure. yeah, I got you. You feel me? But we I don't- I came with a plan. But yeah, <laughs> like I'm, I'm here for a reason. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yeah. You're never gonna walk into the back of fucking, you know, I don't know, a restaurant or something. Oh, you walk into Taco Bell and say, nah, bro, beans don't go in there, bro. Wait, yeah. hey, shouldn't you be doing this first? Like, I could have yeah. sworn you do this process. For, nah, like, roast the tortilla no first, bro. Come on. No yeah, way. That shit's crazy. Boy. No, I just had a situation like that a couple weeks ago. It's like, and it wasn't even, like, bro, just some random dude didn't introduce himself or anything. Like, even the artist didn't know. Like, that was his first time meeting him, bro. And then he's over like here, a friend of a friend. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Trying to tell me how to do my job. Like, bro. Like, how does that work? Yeah, yeah like... like <laughs> 
And then, bro, like, one time, oh, man, it was a while ago, but, like, the artist said, before we before we went to go shoot, he said there was a, somebody coming to do BTS, right, behind the scenes. So I get there, and this guy, as soon as I start shooting, he's looking over my shoulder, like, telling me, like, hey, bro, let's do this shot like this so it's a silhouette and you can turn your ISO down. It's like, bro, what? Like, it's one thing. It's one thing if you would have said, it, like, if you would have told me before, like, hey, he's going to direct a video. I'm just going to have you shoot. That's one thing. You give him one right, sub-level exactly. respect. Exactly, but right, it's like, right. if you're going to tell me, like, he's just doing behind the scenes and then he's over here looking over my shoulder and, like, stepping on my toes, like, obviously I'm going to feel some type of way about it, bro. Pay me more. Exactly. Or something, <laughs> like, bro. Like, like fuck. Hey, you know what's the, you know, you know the, uh, I'll say this right now, and... Maybe I shouldn't say this, but uh, I'm going to say it anyways, right? When someone's behind me and they're doing that over-the-shoulder shit, and maybe people have noticed this. I'm not going to lie. I'm, like, I get so mad about that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, when someone's over my shoulder with it, for I, get, sure. I get to the point where, Deep. like, I'll, pull, I'll, I'll angle my shot wide however I need to do it. I'll back the fuck up. Hell quick. See if he gets out the way. <laughs> Hell <laughs> quick. I'm talking like I'm going like full motion, yeah. like just so they get the memo. Like, okay, bro, you're obviously in, in the fucking way. Yeah. Like, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. it's like say it like that, but that's just true, bro. Because like that shit annoys the living fucking shit out of me. Because it starts to like, it starts to make me think like, why? Why would someone hire a video man just to have someone like fully on just like on their ass? Yeah. Like, why isn't that like, bro? Go shoot it. It's like you said, like, yeah. like, ha- or not like you said, but like, it's kind of like. In the same sense, like with with the person shooting it, doing the behind the scenes, it's like, at that point, why wouldn't you just hit me up to be the okay? I'm gonna have yeah. you be a director of photography. I'm gonna have you be the the cameraman, quote unquote. Yeah, you're gonna be the operator, and then someone else is gonna, you know what I mean? Or like, why yeah. am I even here? Like, why wouldn't yeah. you just have him shoot the why video? Why wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Not behind if the scenes. Like, yeah. Whole <laughs> ass camera, whole behind ass camera the instead of behind ten me. Ten feet like, that way, boy. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? Whole ass camera instead of behind me, like literally behind my shoulder, but whatever. Like. <laughs> See, that shit would piss me the fuck yeah, off, too. Because, <laughs> I mean, I've never obviously been in that situation, but I'm just so particular with my creative shit. And, like, it, as we all are, to some yeah. extent, like, it's just, to anyone watching this, if you've been in a similar situation and you were part of that that party, like, keep your people in check. Because yeah, that's fucking, it's just kind of disrespectful, to be honest with you. Oh, my God. It's like, this Don't is, do that. yeah, it's like, we're already getting underpaid. Let us let us have our <laughs> like, come on come on you feel me yeah. like let us have our, our artistic values yeah. stay in line and shit. So did you play any sports growing up or anything? Did you, you yeah, um, I played baseball for fourteen oh, years. Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay, Hell yeah. I played for. I, um, I was I played all over uh, up it. up until high school. Like I was all over the place, and then I I was a pitcher, played outfield. Yeah. Uh, my senior year, I actually got kicked off the team, so that was cool. really we, yeah. What's that for weed? weed? <laughs> it wasn't even that. Nah, nah. Most, nah. most people on this pod yeah. did some shit like that. Yeah, nah, fucking. I, I, I ended up like, I threw my arm out, so I tore my rotator cuff. Ooh. No way. Yeah, bro. And, Damn. Um, like, it's still kind of fucked to this day. Yeah. But uh, me and the coach didn't really have the best relationship, you oh, know? Sure. So, but he kicked me off, basically kicked me off the team, and then he ended up getting fired after that season. Damn. So, yeah. so you, you know, know some karma. Shit. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, you know, I have my run. I was trying to go kind of like play in college and shit, but hell yeah, yeah. As soon as I fucking, as soon as I threw my arm out, bro, it was over. Yeah, I keep it real with you, bro. I, I played baseball all the way till freshman year. Oh, I was just the fuck off. Okay. I just didn't make grades. Like, oh, yeah. Straight the fuck started up. Started smoking. Like, yeah, it started. <laughs> was really getting into smoking weed. Started ditching class. Just did not give a fuck. Like was on some just straight stupid fucking kid shit. Yeah. But like, bro, I played baseball. Like, you. Yeah, this bro, yeah. Dill was a raw ass pitcher at our yeah, high school. No, Dill actually played all, all his years in high school. Like, okay. man, like we played baseball, fucking, bro. We were like, I'm telling you, that's the only fucking thing that we fucking cared about, like growing up. Like, it like it was nothing more. It wasn't like any like, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, I feel like I should have played baseball, but I never. I played baseball when I was in like, what fifth grade, I think, for like fifth and sixth grade, like two years, and then I stopped. But I was playing football and then I uh, ran track in high school too. Oh God, he was he was a pitcher too. I pitched a little bit, but he was a pitcher. I was definitely more yeah. like, I was definitely more like a closer. Like I like I, I like fucking around closing and stuff like that. But I was more not gonna lie. When it came to like my last couple years of baseball, I was definitely rocking more like the first base position. Really, just kind of you like, could like, hit the That's slower why. player, that slugger at first the, the base. Slugger you could I hit. Hitting, though. I, was, <laughs> I, was, I was hitting dingers, bro. That was I my, couldn't hit shit, boy. About that was my goal. Sophomore year of high school, they were like, you're not allowed to hit no more. I was like, what? <laughs> All right, for real? You need to pitch. 
it's just straight. Yeah, no, for real. Man. Practices become straight pitching practices the whole that time. Like, you get you get taken on. away from the team. See, that's kind of vibes. You, you and like maybe one other person that's no, a pitcher. Like, <laughs> it's just only being a pitcher. Like you're like the fucking just no. ace fucking pitcher on the team. But then again, you know, what I thought it was else. vibes, but all the bros that were like, I only pitch. Man, they were they're, so they're weak. Not, they're not vibing. They they're were so vibes. weak, bro. Nah, like the the sure. pitcher only bros are like <laughs> so scared. Hard, probably, like, yeah. bro, they get in a box and they're about to hit, and it. <laughs> uh, Boy, it's like close to them. They dip. They're like, no, no, no. I'm good, man. Even like in college, it was the same shit. Yeah. Like you go to college, you're playing, and it's like, oh, you're a pitcher. All right, go over there with the pitchers. Boy, then pitchers is weak. They're like batting practice. Nah, I'm good. They just sit down. See, that's weird. To me. Boy, like what? Playing baseball, it's just like, participate. It's not like you're fucking. It's different than being like a quarterback on a football team and then having to go do hitting drills. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Right, it's right, way right, different. Right. It's there's, way there's different. a reason why you wouldn't be it's doing that. It's way different. You feel me? Like it's, as a pitcher on a baseball team, it's like. And I feel like, like, like boy, you ain't in the MLB specifically in the American League. Like it ain't <laughs> yeah. like that. You're gonna hit, like, you're gonna bro. Hit. Like it's high school, college, bro. And I feel like even my last at bat, my last at bat that I ever had. Is a home run, mm. Boy, oh, yeah. Cause, Let's go. Cause it's like Sock. I could see pitchers, bro. Like I don't know why nobody let me hit because I could see pitchers. I see the pitcher throwing, bro. Like when it's in their hand already, I know exactly what they're about to do. Right, right. So I could read them the whole time. I told him, I was like, hey, every time this breath throw a curve, curveball first pitch. Every time is gonna drop right in front of you, but you're scared of a curveball first pitch. So everybody take it. Right. I was like, coach, <laughs> let me hit, bro. I took one at bat, dink left field easily. Bro, right, bro, bro, don't yeah. realize you feel me in high school, especially like most of these motherfuckers aren't are, aren't practicing perfect form, so that way every uh, yeah, bro, it's not ball, hidden. A curveball could easily be decided just by this right here instead yeah. of this. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, so they make it more obvious. Like, you know what like, I mean? They like, more not then. I ain't gonna lie. I played with some but some dogs though. Like I had a couple people on my team that got drafted right out of high school. So. Mm-hmm. No, that's fire. That's yeah. fire. Definitely. We played with a few too. Yeah, yeah. like we did. We definitely we we had a couple. We had a couple for sure. But what I will say to to our like. uh like our high school's perspective, I think well we were like division three, right? Yeah, I think it was like OG yeah, was three. I was two. OG was three. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You, play, you play both. You play both. I play with OG and ST. OG was three. We was super rado. We I wish OG that, was tough though. OG was tough though. <sighs> oh bro, our OG baseball team, like our core four, bro, was like damn near we could have played with seven players and we was better than all the bros in fucking division three and i actually remember that team it was so wide bro like <laughs> miggy that all them, bro, they were oh, so God. fucking horrible at football at st man <laughs> that should have me high i would pull we up to, to all the games see we went to playoffs my senior year for the first time in like fuck probably like seven years or something or like seven, maybe a little less i don't know but yeah. it was it was a little small drought and it's like we were already like the laughing stock of like the league so to speak like as a football team First round of playoffs, we played against uh, the fuck was it in Salinas, Every Alvarez High School. Mm. And motherfuckers ran us the fuck over. Dude. It was <laughs> Let like, us know, huh? Fuck, Fred. Like that shit was embarrassing. It's like <laughs> football. The skill disparity is like yeah. so huge. It's like if you have a just a bigger team, or if you have yeah, a yeah, faster yeah. team in high school, in high just school, just slightly, yeah. like just a little faster yeah. at every position, a little stronger at every position, you're gonna get dominated. Right? Yeah. Like unless yeah. you, you run some, different for sure. Yeah. yeah, baseball, it's almost like. Uh, for, to have a dominant team, there has to be multiple aspects of a dominant. Yeah. Like the, the right. pitcher has to be raw. There has to be multiple sluggers. And it could be like, like a 13 year old Brad, and he's still raw. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Compared yeah, for to like sure. a 17 year old Brad, and he's whack. The freshman doesn't the, matter. The bro. freshman on the varsity team, like yeah, the size <laughs> is like really whatever. But yeah. there's literally Brad that was like juniors on a JV team, and Facts. they was whack against Facts. freshmen that are fucking really? raw. Yeah. yeah, for me at least, I don't know about you so, in so high you school. So you can be like an upperclassman type. No, at, 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 junior. At, at ST, they were juniors in, in JV. You could be wow. junior like on for, JV for in baseball. Yeah, we yeah. had the same yeah. thing too. Yeah, I mean, I was I was sophomore it's like playing a, varsity, uh, yeah. so I was kind of up there. But I mean, it's really a pride thing at that point. Like for you know sure. what yeah. I mean? If you're a junior and you're on the J, like it's like I'd be embarrassed. You should be embarrassed, boy. Them boys was a full mustache out there. Like what? I will say with with ST in specific though, I don't know. Like it could be a thing. Like we didn't have that many tryouts, or we didn't have that many people coming to tryouts. Yeah, it was like true. The, like true, uh true. In, in the like I'll say it like this. So they a, had to rock with everybody that came yeah. out. So look, yeah. so look, right? There's a day, right? This is hella funny, right here. There's a day at ST baseball tryouts, right? At the very end, right? The the last tryout day. And it's basically like you walk up to the bruh, and he either like uh, for us it was Coach Sheridan, coincidentally, like yeah. the same last yeah. name as me. We he would he would give you a card. 
or like something so like it was either like i forgot what it was but basically you like walk up to him and they would like like somehow uh, signify whether you were on the team or not and if you weren't yeah. on the team you literally did a walk of shame back to the parking yeah, lot dip. like Damn. like it's kind of you did like i forgot how it is it's kind of like in a way so they don't like i think if you don't do the walk of shame like you walk to the same area but like you make a laugh it's like yeah. it's hella obvious bro. You like, remember. like you know what i mean it's like it's hella obvious so but there yeah. was there was probably only like realistic like four bros that did the you feel me? The walk of shame to the right, and then went to the parking lot. So you got to realize how many people actually made the team, bro. There's like fucking twenty people trying out. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there's a, like there really wasn't that many people to actually let go. Like, there were definitely some trash ass motherfuckers on the JV team when I played. <laughs> I couldn't remember that for sure. Random bros. So I mean, we, we're kind of on like the uh, you know the the tail end of this one for sure. I wanted to ask yeah. a few like kind of still off topic from video kind of stuff. Like uh, one that I tend to ask to a lot of us creators is like, obviously your main. Uh, focus at most times is going to be your videos and you know shooting editing whatever um what do you do in your downtime you, you play video games you be like you got, you got certain shit that you do that kind of like pass the time when you're not trying to work uh you read i don't do you read, read? <laughs> i'm not <laughs> a big not. reader myself hey, huh? hey, hey, hey fuck we're gonna you get read, a, we're gonna get one one day <laughs> one, one day, of these bros gonna read one of these bros are gonna be a reader <laughs> I feel like it's just our generation we just yeah not a yeah, reader boy. Bro, i haven't read a book since fucking middle school like, uh, so I, I read like, the signs on the freeway on the way to the <laughs> i think the last book i read was probably diary of a wimpy kid there you go uh-huh. that's fair that's fair <laughs> that's sure. fair i mean classic bro dill knows i have one that boy have one got the whole collection the right now all the colors all the colors for sure yeah. Oh God. So what uh, you do though? Shit. Um, I, I like to really ask specifically almost on on the gaming tip because okay. everyone. I like feel like most people game to some to extent. some extent. Like we're asking yeah. you, do you game or do you not? No. Yeah. Like, I mean, do you yeah. play games, bro? Do you play video games? <laughs> so let me see. I'm, I, honestly, I've been getting back into GTA a lot. I'm Dude, playing a lot okay. of GTA. Okay. Okay. See, we're <laughs> starting. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Skip that bit. Skip we're that bit. No, 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 no. We're starting to get somewhere. <laughs> Fuck all that. We're starting to get somewhere. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Huh. I've, I've recently. Mike got, got about two hours to talk about GTA yeah. with you. Uh, I've, got, I've gotten back into GTA recently too. Okay. So that's why I say it like that. Oh yeah. Especially RP. See, that's a little different. I i don't know that a lot of people are on a pc so. yeah i play on ps5 so yeah see so know. there we go there we go that's just different though i see all the like t grizzlies videos and shit. Bruh, <laughs> that's crazy. so funny it's like bruh. realistic as fuck you have srts and hey, like bro that's what i'm saying bro so yeah. like, funny I'll, though. I'll, I'll be on the rp servers bro it's so realistic to the point where like you gotta lock your car or else like, it's gonna get fucking taken <laughs> off right. on like like the, 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 the gas stations are valid like you have to go to the gas stations yeah. to really get gas yeah. you have an iphone fucking emulator like you can fucking air drop stressful your, bro, you can, i'm <laughs> saying you can air drop your contacts to people like bro it's the craziest shit yeah fuck around get bipped in gta 5 no, oh god, god bro <laughs> it's like bro how, what happened when you pull up in the gta rp and they're like all right bro you work at this gas station it's fucking what? insane <laughs> bro, bro, uh, there, there are people that sit there and they, they just work at, at, at cupcake factories and shit like that and, and they get robbed all day that's all they do is get robbed bro no bro imagine you pull up they're like yeah you work at a little corner store over here bro. <laughs> your job is to get robbed all day I'm what cool. i'm cool Man. Nah, I'm gonna see y'all. Yeah, you know, I, I had to ask that because me and Mike last night we we did our little first run at a, uh, so we did a burning tree conversation like a, a podcast basically with no guests. It was just me and him, and basically what we did is I had my Xbox down here and he had his PC whatever right across from me, and same idea. We we're still shooting ourselves, but then we also recorded our gameplay and we were playing Rocket League. Okay. You heard of Rocket League? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that, that's our shit. That's like, what, well, For at sure. least what we play as a duo. We are sweats. Yeah, we, we're pretty, you know, a little sweaty at that. We're sweaty at Rocket League. I'm weak. But I, I like to ask if I anyone. Suck. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's hard. It's, it <laughs> sure. takes some nerd hours for sure to get decent it's at that game. Hey, not to interrupt, but yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll I just had, I had a question for BTC, right? Oh, so hell yeah. Anything, you can't interrupt, so, Brad. It's about you. Okay, so I know... <laughs> this, I could know. Turn to your in, this could turn to your podcast yeah, whenever you want. Show. I swear <laughs> to God. I swear to God. So I know you're somebody that's like kind of... At least from when I started out, you were pretty heavy on the effects. Mm-hmm. Is that for something sure. you're still focused on? Yeah, so like, okay. What I will say, I'm kind of glad you asked that. So like with me, I definitely started out. I wanted... With my videos, I always thought that I could stand out with the effects because I always, like, there were certain effects that I would do in certain, like, styles of, like, my editing that I knew that people liked and because people would always, like, reply to it, even though when I would, like, especially, like, in the first, like, kind of, like, like, first year of doing it, maybe I didn't necessarily think it was that hard, but I knew I spent a lot of, like, time doing the edits and, like, even though maybe I didn't think it was that hard, I knew it was, like, in my head, passable. Or like that makes sense, but then other people would tell me like, "Bro, that shit is like stupid dope," even though like, like I said in my head, it wasn't necessarily like up to par. 
but I always use that kind of like as my motivation to like keep doing with the effects in specific because I don't know there's kind of like a weird balance of like being able to save your footage with effects in a sense of like when I was like early on maybe if my videos weren't super like up to par like how I thought like like for instance like a young Kez or like a Rob Driscoll like people like I would look up like to shot wise shot wise yeah. with the effects I kind of felt like that's what could separate me from like everybody else so like I definitely kept heavy on the effects for a very long time recently I'll say I've kind of been a little more into like finding out like figuring out how I can make the video dope with some like structure to it not mm -hmm. just necessarily like a uh, shooting a video and then saving it with effects or like making the video dope with the effects I kind of want to make it more like planned out and like kind of like planning out the effects more that's why i got into the 3d stuff in specific mm -hmm. the 3d stuff it kind of like made me like okay i could like like i could pull up to a green screen location but i could have a whole idea of like what i want the background to be and like how i want them to like okay maybe i want them to like walk across a bridge for instance or like something like that like i could really actually get into it and like i could plan out the effect i feel like that's more what i'm on recently because i kind of got tired of like like shooting a point and shoot and then all right, every five seconds, I need, I need to have an effect here. I need this to flash, or I need this to this. It was kind of seemed like I was planning it, and I kind of, I was kind of getting repetitive. Not, mm. not that I was planning it. It was more like I was doing it on the fly and kind of getting repetitive with the effects that I was doing. Yeah. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? For sure. Because like with the effects, it's always been big for me. Like I feel like that's always like a huge thing. But I just kind of like recently, I'm trying to make it more. What's the word? Like there's a specific word for it, but like kind of just more cinematic cinematic and flowing with the video yeah. you know what i mean less random and just like before i would do like hella colorful animations or like hella colorful shit like i'm trying to make it more synced with the video if that makes sense i feel that these are the specifics i like to hear about from yeah. you guys too i think i asked similar shit to adam kg in specific but like i like to see the little nuances because without so we have three videographers that are part of our little collective it's him and then our boy josh uh Matadamas. And then shot by a tree, if you know either of them. For sure. Um, and it's like all three of them have like their cool little own role. It's almost like I always related to the producing aspect too. Like, so Mike is real, for the most part, he's been super crazy with the effects, and that's, you know, got him to where he's at. Obviously, skilled everywhere else too, but just more specifically, like what they tend to do for most videos. And you have someone like a tree who's like real crazy with like the shots, right? He's like real, uh, he has a good good eyes you know what i mean he has a good eye for the I mean, shit. he does like, iphone shoots too that's crazy. yeah he started off with just his phone and he was making his shit look crazy. crazy just off right. of his shots like the balance of his shots yeah. like the he has uh, the eye for it symmetry of his certain shots and shit if i'm using the right terminology here like it's, no, it's yeah, yeah. shit like that and then we have someone like a josh who's just all over the place in his yeah. mind and just has like this cool crazy yeah. like motherfucker super... you, you could watch him shoot a video you'll never know how it's gonna come out right it comes yeah. out it'll so come out way different, different. so yeah. crazy but it's like yeah. it, it, it seems like he just knew what he was doing though like throughout the whole shoot you know what i mean yeah and then like relating it to like the producing shit the reason why i'm so interested in it is because like you'll have certain producers that you know you could tell they almost copy and pasted their drums from one of their most popular placements and just threw yeah. it on this loop or you got the, the people that Every beat they drop, it's some different shit. Like one beat will be some mob shit. One one beat will be like some smooth R and B, like a female singing kind of like beat or some shit. You know what I mean? Like it's it's everyone has their cool little uh, archetypes, I guess you would right. call it. Like got their own style, yeah, 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 for I, sure. I think a good way to like really like finalize that was like when like I would really start to see Adam KG's videos in specific. Yeah. I feel like Adam's a great example of someone where his effects are in the video, yeah. are in his cut style, in yeah. his cinematography, in the way he like puts a story into the video. Mm -hmm. And that really like seeing videos like that, same thing with like like a Rob Driscoll, like I said earlier, you know, people like that, it really made me realize like you don't necessarily need to sit there and drown out a bunch of crazy ass effects if you could make it pop out with the video mm -hmm. itself. You know what I mean? So it really, it really just kind of comes down to like, how the video is like kind of shot and stuff like that because there are definitely videos nowadays where like i'll still shoot them and like you know i can see a whole bunch of crazy ass like effects that i could just flood through the whole video you know what yeah. i mean and just make that video a crazy ass like trippy video that you yeah. see on like maybe like an elevator like you know channels like that kind of back like back in almost like the soundcloud like era like i know like the videos mm -hmm. that were going back then those are super like uh you know like the pierre born and like that was the, all uh, on the all on the editing hell like, yeah super sure. like crazy animation super like like a you know the Cole Bennett style with the drill, the scribbling and all that type of stuff. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. No, I'm I'm glad you touched on that because that's kind of, like that's one of the things I've been focused on is just really using the the shots as the effects, right? Yeah. So if you look at some of my older videos, right? Like I used to be pretty heavy on effects, 
and I've noticed that for sure over time just more so focus on like just on quality and, and just really you know getting the shots together and um, one thing I've noticed at least like from when I started out you know there's kind of been these like like these phases of like people doing a certain effect so like when I first came out it was a lot of people doing like the, the shout out Suzy for sure <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll shout out Suzy wow. that. yeah <laughs> we touched on this as well. yeah, to say. yeah but Suzy. like so when I was coming out right I saw a lot of people doing like the neon kind of highlight effect oh yeah yeah then What's that kind of got phased out then the next thing was like the film burns bro Oh yeah, that oh, shit came yeah. out. The eight bro. millimeters with the oh my god, bro! I still outside. see videos to this day where it's like every two seconds is a fucking film burn. It's like, bro, I can't even like, I don't even know what's going on in the frame. <laughs> yeah, no, that right. has, that has, I don't even For know what's sure. in the picture. It's literally just a bright ass flash. It's just like a uh, uh, orange flash. It just brights up exactly. Quick, yeah, like. so, yeah. And then with with you guys being super aware of that because you're in the community of your directors, obviously, like, does it become a point where you guys all kind of just obviously it's it's un, it goes unspoken, but does it kind of become a point where shit kind of come, becomes corny? Like, okay, this has been yeah, overused. For sure, nah. Yeah, because with the beats, same way, right? It's like you'll hear all these Stockton beats, and don't get me wrong, I slap the fuck out of that music still to this day, <laughs> and I make those beats still to this day. Yeah. But it's like whether it's the boom, 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 boom on every single song. The lasers. Or the yeah. <laughs> like yeah, that, yeah, that laser. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Like as a producer community, we're kind of just like, we got to find something else yeah, to put something. in this part of the beat. You know, be like, yeah. so it's, a, yeah, it's, I had to ask that. No, there's sure. definitely, yeah. definitely, like, absolutely, like, a, it, it becomes a point where you as an editor realize, like, oh, okay, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Maybe this is yeah. a little, maybe I'm seeing this way too much. Maybe the fact that I've seen this in the last five videos is a kind of a bad thing. Right. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, yeah. I'm, sure, I'm sure you could relate to that. Like, like, that's why I say shout out Susie, because... There's literally a whole phase in time that like everyone everyone already knows this. Like there was a phase in time where every single person wanted to have a Susie effect. Every single person right. wanted the the shake, the fucking the paint, the uh, the paper effects, whatever it was, whatever the literally whatever the fuck he was doing at the time was the like you know what I mean, bro. And I still get clients to this day like they'll be like, hey, can you do this? And they'll show me like ten of Susie's videos. Like <laughs> why are you hiring me? Like why don't you just go hire Call Susie? Out, bro. Call out, bro. bro, need need hand me by Briss just played on the studio yeah, right yeah. now. Like do you like? I'm not even exaggerating. I can't count on my hands. There's like probably 20 plus motherfuckers that have sent me the need hammy video in specific. Sure. And said, yo, I need these effects right here. You know what I mean? Like, So let me ask this. This is like a little bit off topic, but when you watch a new video, say it's a new music video, you never heard, bro. You never seen a video. When you watch a video, do you focus more on the music or do you just like notice everything that's happening in the video and you want to talk about that? Uh, you're saying like what like if I see like say I'm watching a video yeah on like say it's a random yeah. ass fucking music video on YouTube when yeah. you watch it are you hearing the music more or is it just like you're focused on the video you're no, focused video. on the effects the video 100% it, yeah. it's, it's ingrained exactly yeah, it's, it's yeah, even yeah, like yeah, even if yeah, I'm just yeah. driving around right like I'm seeing everything as like oh this would be cool like, right be cool uh, to get up, you know, that type mm. shit like that and but you, um, you hear songs that you haven't shot that ha don't have a music video or whatever and you think about how a music about, video yeah, is like exactly, that well, 100 percent there yeah no I, i'm yeah i'm the same exact way oh my god see yeah. I, i'm kind of more scatterbrained with it and i think it's just because i've like lightly touched into like so many different realms whether it be videos or anything like that just whether it's like an actual visualizing kind of thing or with the music like i'll be making a beat or if I hear a song, like maybe I get a, a song back from somebody that I produced the beat for or whatever, and it's like, I know this song's going to come out with a video, I'm going to be yeah. like, oh, it's oh he's about to do this shit on this part of right. the beat that I affected like this. Like, yeah. for example, with the Zay video we're about to drop uh, called Taking Risks, it's like, uh, I've been doing this thing recently where it's like, it'll be the, the intro of the song and then when our tags come in, on my tag in specific, so I don't drown out the other producer if there's another one, but always on mine, it'll be like a... a we have a kid or yeah you just it. it'll, it'll like come back like on some like dj shit and in my head i'm like i know mike's gonna have some shit where it's like you can see the video right. like right yeah, on yeah, that yeah, it's yeah. Right. it snaps back it's a snap yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, the rubber right. band effect yeah, yeah, i'm yeah. always thinking like hella fucking too almost too scatterbrained like that sometimes yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah, yeah. spread myself thin a little bit with the you're making a beat thinking about the effects yeah i'll get too into it too. Like, yeah, I yeah, 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 it's because we worked as a duo for so long too so i'm like i'm already thinking of that but, uh, but yeah, for sure. Um, another one I wanted to ask too, before we you know get to this outro, and I don't really know if this would be like me asking for too much sauce for you to give out, but what what's your setup? Like I'm because you made made a comment earlier about how the gear is important. I agree sure. too. Yeah. In in any realm, it's like it is. You can't downplay that. 
Like, what's your setup looking like? Well, what would you? Uh, so yeah. I'm a I'm a dedicated cannon shooter. Mm. <laughs> a lot of people, you know, I think ninety. No, I, I was just gonna say, I swear to God, <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, no. Ninety percent of people okay. I've come across that shoot videos are all shooting on Sony. I'm a Sony guy. For sure. Nothing wrong with that. I've tried Sony, you know, but it's just it wasn't for me. I learned Not on fair. Canon. I love the colors that come off of it, and so um, yeah. But um, Canon excels in colors. A lot, sure, a lot of people yeah, don't know yeah. that. A lot of people don't know. Yeah. That. To answer your question, like I so I shoot on a Canon R five C. I had a C seventy for a while, but I traded like sold it, bought the R five C just because like I ended up taking that. You know, the shit's like a brick, right? Yeah. You ever yeah. shot on a Canon like a cinema camera? The shit is literally like a fucking paperweight. And I was bringing that shit into like strip clubs and shit, like, like this is not it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So I shoot on Canon. Got you know whatever. Everybody has a Ronin. Got some Asteras, and um, you know I'm trying to upgrade my lighting kit because that's something. Time out, time out. You say you got some Asteras. I do. That's just some little ass shit. I got some Nan lights right here. These are like a fifth of the price. You have Asteras? <laughs> yeah. I only have two. Yeah, of them, I got some Asteras. Oh, okay. I, okay, okay. Let's I don't go. have a whole so, kit. So, so for people yeah. that don't know, like the, the eight pack of Asteras or whatever, like, like these are like five hundred. Like, I feel like they're more. Probably, yeah. Like, I've, if I'm not mistaken, bro, these were originally Boy. like no, no, no. The Astera eight pack that people like, I remember like they would rent out to people and stuff like that. These were ten thousand dollar lights, bro, for eight of them. And these are tube like, lights. Yeah, it's like, like similar to like, these. Like, and and I. Even even just having two of them, like trust, bro, that's a fucking investment right there. That is not so, a, like, like like trust trust me when I say those are some crazy ass fucking. Nah, like, like when I got those, it just like completely changed like the way I shoot because I've always like even early on like lighting was kind of always a a a big point for me, but when I got those, like it was just able to transform. Like if these lights were white. Like, it just look like a regular garage. Yeah, it's literally just <laughs> You know, but it's crazy. It's, this, I use, it's, how many times I've used this exact color combination? The blue and yeah, orange. Yeah, 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 of course. The, the teal, yeah. teal and blue orange. With the orange. Like it's That's a tried and true. Blue with the orange. Yeah. Some teal and orange, some, some green and purple, and, you know, some some red and green, something like that. Exactly. You know what I mean? The good, the good contrast. Yeah. yeah. The Christmas? Yes, yes, yes sir. Yeah. Did oh, those God. weird little nuances, I for some reason, I just have this weird, like, addiction to, like, learning about those weird, small nuances, like, how you guys both agreed yeah. on that, like, this combination. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, it's just like I always try to like remember them, try to sound. It should kind of make me no, happy. Dead, <laughs> like. dead ass, if, if you have if you have lighting that changes colors, I'm dead ass. Just look at a color wheel for like exactly. for like thirty That's seconds. That's what I do. Bro. The same like, thing like I do. The, the, the color like these two colors they contrast each other. They're on, opposites, on, on right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, same thing yeah, with red yeah. and green. Like I was saying earlier, I think uh, blue is like what? That's like a or no, blue is orange. Yeah, yeah. It's like or like a reddish orange. Like however you want to go about it. But like yeah, either way, like however you want to light it. Set, like if you think okay, some green would look dope here. Look at the other color. It's gonna be like purple mm. or like something like that. Like if you have no idea what a color wheel looks like, you just look at it for like thirty seconds, and like you'll literally find like dope ass lighting. Like for sure. and that's game for anyone, you know. Oh, no, nice. especially for for point and shoots when you're kind of just pulling up and figuring shit out on the go. Like huge having color lighting is everything, bro. Huge. Cause Quick little upgrade to the quality. Yeah, exactly. If you're somebody that puts the lights on the ground and you don't own light stands, just literally like bro, buy one light stand and just. Just you'll watch. be able to see, yeah bro like you'll be able to see how much of a difference it makes because like lighting naturally comes from overhead right so it'll make your shit not only look more natural but more professional because i'm st like bro i still see videos like i'm not gonna say names but it's like bro consistently i've seen this like certain people just always have the lighting on the ground and like you have this fucking shadow all over the artist's face like bro like I it's not complimentary to their look exactly like that, bro like. but the crazy part is is like most of the time the artist and the audience is not going to be able to tell the difference mm. oh not at all and not like kind of what you said earlier right like doing effects to cover up your, your certain shots like most of the time people aren't going to be able to tell the difference between mm. somebody who knows how to light and a quality video versus a fucking hundred dollar video that you know whatever like whatever the case it, may it be it all comes back to what we're saying at the film burns at all that shit exactly. you know what i mean you start to lose the fucking and like, that's the thing is like bro i've always been a stickler on like real like just having quality because stickler. the one thing i like that yeah bro whatever <laughs> the one thing i've seen is like yeah, there's been all these phases of like people doing a certain effect but the one thing that always like will stick around is just having quality cinematography mm -hmm. bro. always never never will fall exactly never yeah. and then fall. that's a that's the other thing too right is like like at least for me the way i've kind of learned how to separate myself from certain people is just coming up with your own style but also not being afraid to like be creative and think outside of the box right because you gotta think about it bro people 
like I hear people saying all the time, like I want to be the next Cole Bennett or like I want to be the next such and such. But what are you doing that's different than everybody else? Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Because a label, you got to think about it. A label is not going to come to you with a hundred thousand dollar budget if all you have to show for is is point and shoots. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what I'm like. That's what I've like really noticed recently. And like you'll see any like big videographer or big like you know cinematographer really express that is that at the end of the day. If your work is just a bunch of cinematic, just like like you said, like point and shoots, what is gonna what's gonna what's gonna make them want you versus the next person? Exactly, Cause, cause, bro, like you're interchangeable, yeah. Because goddamn, exactly. at, at the end of the day, these cameras are sold to millions of motherfuckers. For sure. Any anyone can pick up a camera and get the exact same look that you're talking about and the exact same shot. It's what you actually do to it. It's what you actually like, you know. Yeah. And your that's where your personality comes into it too. You know, your social skills and all that, like being able to, like like we we're talking about earlier, being able to tell people how the shot works and being able to do all that stuff. All that is way more important than people think. Like, just getting the shot and just getting it to look cinematic and all that stuff like that, like, bro, anyone can fucking do Friends that. Can do it, that. It, it sucks to say, anyone can fucking do that. As, like, exactly. as creatives, like, when you're comparing yourself, you gotta kind of think of it as, like, you're in 2K or Madden or some shit, and you're looking at all the stats. You got, like, whatever, 30 stats. Hella Number specific 97 shit. 97 lighting. It's like, you could have, <laughs> yeah. nine, you could have 99 <laughs> on the gear. You could have 99 yeah. on, like, the... Yeah. trying to be different stat. guess how many motherfuckers have the exact same score yeah right? but then yeah. and then at the same time too though like we're saying all this about being creative and standing out you also do want to have those deviations those differences yeah. in your work still be based off of fundamental almost rules of the art you feel me like you said you went to school i'm sure like i'm pretty sure you mentioned it earlier like that taught you the fundamentals of lighting probably and setting up shit and like knowing this shouldn't be at the ground like being hella non complimentary to the artist right, yeah, you feel me like it's sure. hella putting it up Grim in the double Reaper chin looking and shit, ass boy right? exactly so it's like it's you got you definitely want to stray off the you know the the most traveled path but you also want to stay true to the fundamentals and, and respect the art form too you know what i mean do it do it right at first and then yeah. you can do it different too you feel me so For like sure. yeah i feel like i feel like we can go through a bunch <laughs> of videos that you've shot before and you know we have a couple down there's one in specific though that I really do want to talk about that okay. you shot. I'm just yeah. kind of stirring, stirring away from the conversation we were just having. But I want to talk about Bippin' Lessons by Baby J. For sure. Fire. Right? <laughs> so, you so, already uh, knew what you was about to say. No, on God. On God. Because <laughs> that video, I feel, I mean, not only did the song go crazy, but I mean, the video went crazy. And I feel like that song kind of like, I don't know, showed a lot, like, a lot of people before, like, especially if you're not from the city or something like that, you're not really knowing about the culture of, you know, Bippin' and all that shit and, yeah. you know, what it goes down to. So I feel like that was kind of like a, I don't want to say monumental, but in, in a way, kind of like, in a sense, like, it was kind of like an iconic video for, it's a massive for, that, video. for that culture, for sure. For sure. I, no, I appreciate, you know, I appreciate you saying that, bro, because just having that type of recognition, it, it means a lot. But yeah, shout out my yeah. boy, Baby J. You mm -hmm. feel me? He came up with that, I, the whole treatment. And I just, you know, I did my job and executed. Yes, sir. Um, actually, uh, Thizzler hired me to shoot that, so oh, God. Uh, that was the first time I worked with Thizzler artists and, you know, worked with Baby J and a couple other their artists, EBK, Young Jog, whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, bro, that video is crazy. Like, even to this day, it's, like, probably top three videos, my favorite videos that I've shot. And I'm surprised it didn't, like, do more numbers than it actually did, mm -hmm. but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I feel it though. It was definitely successful in its own For sure, in, yeah. in its own state. But I, I know what you mean though. I know what you mean. Yeah, but um, yeah, bro, that was. I mean, uh, yeah, I think a lot of uh, people, you know, a common misconception is he actually went to, you know, went out and go went and bipped a car. But I'm, I'm assuming the some, car was probably yeah, yeah. it was somebody. It was one of their friends, <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was just a random car they went and bipped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, that not shit was crazy. They're not, they're not interrogating themselves like that. Nah, so. that that's uh, respectable for sure. <laughs> yeah, bro. I mean, he actually he put out bipping lessons too, and I'm trying to get him to shoot with me, but I don't know. Yes, he, sir. I don't know yes, how sir. he's feeling. Hit me, me up. Hit me up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now I wanted to get that one in specific though, because like definitely when I seen that video and I I heard the song, I was just like, oh no, I just because I was a little bit early on it. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I was fucking, you know, one of the first right. viewers. But like I remember hearing it, it was like kind of early, and I was first like, oh comment, yeah, thank you. This is gonna go crazy. First comment, that's like, oh, yeah, first that, that comment, was the mentality I was you. in, you know. For first, sure. thanks. <laughs> no, nah, that was like first, that was one of the videos that really kind of started, like started this whole shit, like you know, kind of got my name out there and whatnot. So like I, I want to say it was probably the first video I seen by you, if I'm not so. mistaken. It was probably something. It was probably that one. Yeah, that shit was dope. That was like back when I, I 
I only put my logo at the end of the video because I didn't want to kind of interrupt with the artist thing. So that was, I don't know. You know it was probably I, smart of you to do that. I've had intros taken out by Thizzler, but I mean, we'll get to that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I was going to actually gonna ask, and I, I'm, I'm uh, guilty of this almost, I mean, what, 80, 80 plus percent of the podcast. I tend to ask, uh, do you have any kind of like relationship with Thizzler? Have you done extensive work with them? Do you have any... Uh, certain opinions with them like any any experience i mean so with you know them? people say what they want to say they've always shown me love okay. so you feel me um i used to look at them like you know if i get a video on thizzler like i made it right but no, i hear you, you kind of start I, to realize after a while it's like okay well maybe they're not the biggest thing in the world Cause, but because of course th- there's definitely a point where like i know what you mean like i remember when fucking we had a, a two a's video yeah, yeah. We, had, we had it and like we posted it and like we were like dropping soon and i remember when thizzler ended up following me and they tapped in and they're like mm. what's up we're trying to get that video yeah, i remember when go. i seen that i was like oh yeah let's go like th- i know what you mean like we made it bro, bro. Like, i felt the same exact thing like bro i was Shit, doing the same thing we're doing now. Drinking White Claws with my best. <laughs> you feel me? And I see Thizzler. F- I get a notification. The Thizzler followed you. Like, everyone. I, fuck you. I almost God. started crying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be honest. I know what you mean, bro. I know what you mean. So I'm be the honest. goat. It's I'm not, the goat. For sure. It's, it's not until later you realize. I, I know what you mean, for sure. Because, yeah. like, of course, but, like, when when it first happens like that, like, like it's the same thing for me, bro. When I seen that, I was like, bro, like, no way. Like, yeah. literally, no way type yeah. shit. Like, yeah, no, nah, they, I mean, they, you know, I don't have anything bad to say. And like, they're, you know, they've always shown me love. Um, we've, you know, we've collaborated on at least 10, I want to say 10 videos. I'm not on contract or anything, but, um, mm-hmm. right. you know, uh, I mean, just recently, like me, uh, they set up some shit with me and Blasted. Like, you know, we already had our own mm-hmm. relationship, but I guess it was kind of Blasted going into their budget or whatever. And right, right, right. Having mm-hmm. me go shoot. But yeah, bro. Um, yeah nothing bad to say about them they you know they've always showed me love so right. no, that's good to me. hear i mean yeah. that's, that's, i'd rather hear that no, yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. i mean I, I, yeah <laughs> I, i've that's had my experiences sure. yeah. mike's had his experiences we'll leave that alone but like yeah. i like to ask because everyone tends to have a differing opinion on that you know how they get down but, i yeah. wanted to ask like it's i don't know if it's exactly the same but it's like a similar kind of thing i'm pretty tapped out on all of it but for labels do they hire their own videographers or editors like do they have their own people or is that like something that they hire outside like would you guys be interested like say any label hit you guys up say hey we want to do this would you guys be interested in that i would for sure i mean so it really depends who you're talking to right so people like like empire right that's the biggest label we have out here they have you know they're contracting people like sebastian or you know less than people like them right um i think uh rahulio is another one shot by yeah for sure rahulio yep um i think la is is kind of a different you know different politics right because you have such a big music scene out there like my boy uh my boy kenny he um used to work at interscope right and um he um basically like he was kind of locked into them so he couldn't shoot a video for anybody yeah. under any other label yeah yeah so the exclusivity was super strict that's yeah. what i was trying oh, yeah. to get to yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, we, we so have, is it a problem every, every time we talk to someone that is like from the bay area at least we haven't found that yet where they sure. have like that, like it, like exclusive, like they go, they can only shoot for these people. Like when we talked to Sebastian, yeah. like he's through Empire. Yeah. He was saying but he's allowed like, to do what he wants. Right. And it's not really like but, you but, know. But both him and Susie were both on the tip of like basically saying like I mean at this point like if if I were to work with the artists outside of Empire, I might as well get them involved. Like sure. you know what I mean? Like they're on that like that side of it. Mm-hmm. Like I might as well just have like everybody be a part of it type shit. Well, yeah. Or they're even saying that the the workload that they're being given from such a label, it's it almost just it makes it to where they don't need to work. Right, it overrides that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would say from my point of view, it's like same thing he said. Like if it was like Empire, for sure, yeah, definitely. Like what, I, I'd be willing to, like, because I, I I know with them they wouldn't give a contract to where it's like. I would be fucked out of working with anything else, like working. Yeah, like, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, I would never yeah, be free, yeah. like to be on my own creative shit at the same time. Mm. Yeah, no, hell yeah. Oh yeah. So then, um, last thing, you know, I mean, as we, you know, close this thing out, is there any big projects you have in the works right now? Any, mm. you know, anything that, uh, whether it's videos or just, you know, for your brand, you personally, uh, you having a kid? <laughs> having a kid. <laughs> <laughs> I already got a kid. I got a puppy, so. Oh, there, oh, there we go. go. There we Boy, go. Oh, you can't see me like me. that. I thought he was about to say some crazy shit. <laughs> I, I thought he was too for a second. Not gonna lie. Yeah. Not yeah, a, cool. the, the responsible pups. I feel it. I feel so, it. Uh, but yeah, any projects? Any um, you know, work with any certain artists that you got coming that you, you want to go back to Paris? Man, I hope so. I really like. Man, I hope I get the opportunity to go back because 
yeah. like when you're working when you're traveling like you're it's work at the end of the day you don't really get to see the city for what it is right you yeah. gotta bring the camera with you all the time so anyway um let's see um really i start well i graduated so i got my degree you're applying, you know, that was a big accomplishment right now i'm just kind of uh just keeping my options open i've applied to some jobs here and there shit that'll pay me way more than any music video ever will so <laughs> yeah. um but yeah bro i mean actually i've been getting into like some real estate videos things like that mm -hmm. uh, yes, sir. commercial stuff documentary stuff like that so you know a lot of shit deferring from the music videos but at the same time it's like well now i can really focus on yeah. shooting the project that i want to shoot and mm -hmm. you know right. putting all I have that much more time to be able to really just go out. all in and focus on strictly on just my career. So, yeah, hell yeah. you know, yeah, no, it's tight. yeah, for sure. Oh God. I like to just give the opportunity in case there's like some, someone's planning. They want to, you know, yeah, get, get some crazy coming out. Soon. Yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Out. Shit, just follow Shout me on out. Instagram, man. I'm trying to get my followers up. You know, I wasn't promoting myself enough when I first came out. So be sure I'll go follow him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, like, get, I won't lie. I'm get sorry. with it right now. We're going to have his, uh, you know, his, his tag on here for sure. Yeah, all, sure. all over the kid. Um, but yeah, I think we could probably close this thing out. You know Hell I mean? yeah, that was a great app. Yeah, great conversation. I think we're going on like two hours. I think this, so. one, this might be, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the longest one we have yeah. so far. Like, it was yours and Adam KG's. Yeah, it is. Okay. We're going to see close. We're gonna see when it gets edited for sure, but it's definitely top two. Yeah, that's it, it was combo. It was hella easy to have oh, this God. conversation. Yeah, oh, real, real flowing. You know what I mean? We appreciate you coming out, man. For, for sure. sure. I appreciate y'all, man. It's, you know. Appreciate y'all always, man. We're about yeah. to cut this podcast, kick it for another two hours, drink it up. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, you know what? Well, Before uh, we end, I want to start doing this. If you're down on camera, we need you to sign that board. Oh, yes, oh, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, God. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh-huh. Oh, God. Sure. Yeah. there it is but yeah hell yeah that was another episode of a burning tree conversation um thank you to the burning tree community thank you to sharky's 408 hey, if you made it this out. far good looks i appreciate y'all man for real yeah and one more big shout out to bay shiro and yes that's, sir uh, that's the episode yeah. good night